So, uh, Soma Cruz is supposed to be an exchange student. That's, uh, that's Castlevania lore. And that, uh, he's, in that, in the American version, he's like, uh, a fucking exchange student. Yeah. Um, he was like, I think it was supposed to be, even with the fandom, it was, like, ambiguous what his nationality was, because I guess there was some problems with the Japanese translations and whatever, but... Funny enough, with the long lost, canceled uh, Grimoire of Souls, rest in peace. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> that, yeah, that game basically confirmed that Soma Cruz is in fact Japanese. Yeah. So now we know. Cause maybe maybe thought, he was exchanged uh, from like a different part of Japan. Well, my impression. Oh, hey, it's uh, it's I Castlevania play. Aria Sorrow, by the way. I'm here with Darian, Castlevania expert. Yeah, new new co-host to yep. the stream. But, long uh, time coming. Sorry it took yeah, so long. long time so you yeah, go on. I've been trying to get... Oh yeah, but yeah, my impression oh, the first time when I played this was that he was... I don't know why I got this impression. I thought maybe he was like uh, like an American exchange student who went to Japan. Because when I think exchange student, I think you're going from country to country. I don't know why. But no, they, they confirmed that he is in fact Japanese with a hint of like... Filipino because his last name is Cruz, which is yeah. like Spanish for cross. But and, uh, yeah, and uh, Soma, which is uh, which is the <laughs> oh, we'll get to that in a sec. So the year is twenty thirty five. So uh, so it's fifteen years after the COVID crisis. Uh, oh man! Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the twenty first century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I am a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. Sir, you are. I live near Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my ca classmate and my childhood friend. Started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but for some strange reason... Oh my god, this is going so fast. There we go. Pause. So, he got up to the top of the shrine... Sees the solar eclipse and and then his his senses began to dim. The pitch chaotic pitch black sun is holding the chaotic dark. The pitch black sun is holding the chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse a sleeping soul as if looking for its missing other half. So that's foreshadowing. For what we'll reveal that later. Yeah. Yeah. So Soma Cruz has white hair. Do you know any Filipino people with white hair? Nope. That that's that that uh, that's that by showing and shit going on there. <laughs> oh, uh, did I not update the information? Whoops, I forgot to hit update information. Sorry, Chin Mango, it's, I'm not playing Metopia. So nice. Uh, some... <laughs> the classic uh, Castlevania style artwork for this game, where Soma Cruz looks pretty as hell. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that uh, Ayami Kojima artwork that I try to emulate with my artwork. Very but... good. With the advent of the DS games, uh, they thought it was hip to go to the more generic anime style to try to draw in a try to draw in a uh, younger demographic, which I guess worked because it was pretty popular during uh, my junior high and high school years. So I guess it worked. It, it got some fans in. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind uh, a, a more standard art style, but this art style is fucking legendary. It is. It is. You know. I, you know, some people say they look too girly, they look too feminine. I think it makes them, it makes them look unique. All right, it makes them look unique. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I was just adjusting the volume. People are saying people are quiet, so I cranked okay. you up in the game up a little bit. So let's see if that works. All right. All right. So Soma Cruz is waking up, and there's Mina. She she looks more anime esque, even with the with the Kojima with art, the style. art style. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing with her art style, even when she... This is weird, all right? With Ayami Kojima's art style, she tends to put more realistic-looking effort into the male characters, but when she starts drawing female characters, they look the most anime. They get She gives them big eyes. She gives them more anime-ish features. Yeah, so, yeah as opposed to the more masculine. The that she draws. Yeah, yeah, almost all the females that she draws looks more anime style oh, for whatever you're, reason. You're coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? What is Soma Cruz supposed to sound like? He's just kind of... He, he, um... 
I don't I don't know. He just kind of he, he doesn't really have a he has a pretty generic voice if you ask me. Even right. in his um English dub, he has a pretty generic voice. He's going to sound he's going to sound like Keanu Reeves uh, now. Whoa. You, you could you could what make happened? him sound like that. I could. So you decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Wow, you're you're totally not evil at all. Who the heck are you? It's okay, Soma. His name is Jinya Ar Arikado. Jinya. Jin, that's your name. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions that I need answers now. G go ahead. Why have you come here? <laughs> I Wait, where are we? <laughs> Why have you come here? Wait, where is here? <laughs> I don't know. We're in Dracula's castle. Oh, wait, we're in Transylvania? Uh, all the... Yeah, the way they're doing with Soma Cruz is that he's supposed to be like the audience surrogate, in which he's supposed to be, like, reacting on behalf of the audience. But sometimes, sometimes his interactions are kind of questionable. It's fun. He, well, I mean, he's understandably confused where he's like, like, wait, yeah. why am I here? I don't even know where I am. Wait, Dracula's Castle, are you telling me we're in Europe? No, we are inside the solar eclipse. <laughs> this game starts off crazy. No, no, I love we're, it. We're in an eclipse. What do you think we're at? You, you think, think we're, we're in we're Europe, at? you idiot? We're in solar eclipse. Can you turn them up any higher? I'm turning them up as high as I can, bro. Let me see if it's on my end. Let me see if it's uh, audio I, thing on my end. I, I maxed out. I maxed out your uh, your volume at two hundred percent. So, okay. I'm glad. That's kind of why I'm stalling. I'm trying to make sure that. So if you can max out your volume even higher, that'd be nice. Yeah, your your I, your user volume on my end is like the highest. Maybe I can turn my mic down a bit to uh to kind of balance it out. Say something now. Testing mic one two. Oh, that's much better. Okay. I can aim a gain filter to desktop audio. The Soma Sprite, when the Soma Sprite pops up, I feel like I'm being seduced. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, that's... <laughs> hey, hey ladies. I'm Soma Cruz. Inside the Eclipse, you're insane. Do you think I'm a fool? Turn yourself back up. Thank you. All right. So, Soma, he's telling you the truth. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I, this is how the game begins. You're trapped in a castle inside the solar eclipse. And it's Dracula's... It's like, he, he, just, he just expects you to just accept the fact that you're in an eclipse. Like, nothing, like, this is just every day, like, every weekend for Arakado. Yeah. Huh? An enemy. Five enemies. Oh, there's there's a few more. Damn! Protect the girl. <laughs> yeah, go back to hell where you came from. <laughs> All right, so now we can throw spears out of nowhere. What was that yep. thing? It has awakened. What has awakened? The spirit of the creature you killed just entered your body. Obviously. Man. Man, Arakato loves playing the pronoun game. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's shape. <laughs> I love plots like this, where you're just thrown into it. It's like, it's almost dreamlike in a way. Yeah. The guy, the sprite from the guy on the right looks like Sebastian from Black Butler. A little bit. A little bit. The... For what reason? Do you not wish to return to your friend, to your own world? I'm Ginya Arakado. I take care of the place while the master is away. If, if you recognize that reference. Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber. Then you'll understand everything. I just can't leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I will put up a protective barrier. 
but death will certainly most find those who stay here for too long. Th then I... Yes, only you can save her from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I too have things that I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. Alright, let's do an inventory check. Alright, our, st our stats are kind of, you know, unusual. We have the ability to throw spears from the soul of a winged skeleton, and we have a pocket knife and just some casual clothing. Yeah, so they, they, they don't really start you off with anything, but, um, yeah, that soul mechanic. They, uh, introduced that, and, uh, every enemy that you kill has a chance to drop a soul, and, and it gives you abilities. Passive, active, and, uh... And I guess, uh, what do you think of when I hear the word soma? I was going to talk about that. Remember how uh, uh, Zelrog and I were talking about the about the game about the the show Seiko no Quasar? Yeah. There's a there's a uh, a uh, a plot device uh, like a, called uh, soma, and it's literally just specialized breast milk. What the fuck? Yeah, and they use it to, to gain alchemical power. A lot of, lots of, lots of talk of alchemy in Castlevania. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, this... Now we got our generic, uh... Standard staple Castlevania beginning enemies, zombies. Yeah, zombies. Which can be killed by pocket knifing them twice. Hey! Yeah. Oh wow, that was quick. I usually never get zombie this quickly. That RNG, and what's crazy, I think uh, it's in Dawn of Sorrow. There's a item you can get called the Soul Eater Ring. Turns yeah. out there's a bug. There's a bug with that item. Yeah. And now what that ring is supposed to do, it increases your luck so much that it helps you get souls easier. But apparently there was a bug with it. Like it was like this tiny piece of code that if you were to just tamper with it, if you like alter the code, it fixes it. And it makes it to where the Soul Eater Ring works properly, and you get souls better. Because when you use it in the base game, it feels like it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, because it's Especially it in my experience. <laughs> so, oh, so we got the short sword, but apparently I got a lucky drop, and I got the base lard early. That's oh, awesome. Shit. Yeah, I that, got it. that'll happen. Got some good RNG so far. Yeah. Which means that it's probably going to get worse as it goes on. This is how you just... This is how luck usually is. Luck is a harsh mistress. Yep. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck?! The first merman killed, I get I get the fucking merman soul. Yeah, it'll happen. You, you, you just wait until... Well, these are, these are pretty common enemies. The luck isn't so bad on them. You should yeah. be more surprised when you kill, uh, like, one of those giant armor enemies. And if you get a soul out of them, then you should be really surprised if you get it on the first kill. I'll keep that but in no, mind. It is still surprising that you're getting, like, a soul off the first kill of these guys. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty good RNG. Yep. Oh, no bat, though. And we got a cape. Alright. Oh, wait, no, that's a, I, number three. Unexceptional cloth co cloak. Uh, one extra defense, sure. Yeah, you're just gonna have to take what you can get right now. Uh, how close are you to the mic? Oh, God! <laughs> Early skeleton! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't... So, yeah, with Hold on. the phone mic, because, again, I'm using the phone. Yeah. Uh, the way it works is I'm having to... I'm literally putting, I'm talking directly into the mic port, like the speaker portion of the mic. Yeah. Where the mic is. I don't know what it is, it's, just, it's quiet. If you have, you should get earbuds with like a built-in microphone. They're pretty problem cheap. That is, I, I, have, I have a headset with a mic, but the problem with this phone is that it doesn't have a headphone jack. Oh, it doesn't? Oh wow, you just have... Oh, this is, this is... This is a... This is an iPhone 8. Oh, those, that sucks. Yeah, it, it's pretty bad. So if, so, um... Anybody, any uh, viewers listening, if you want to 
uh, uh, donate to the uh, get uh, dairy and a computer fund. That'd be that'd be much appreciated. Level up. Speaking of that, I just got myself a switch like last week. Oh, that's nice. Uh, from from a friend of mine who just came by to visit, and he's only let me borrow it for like a month. So that's that's the unfortunate part. But the mo the most unfortunate part yeah. is that I only get to. Uh, I've been trying to play Smash with Zelrog and the others, but combine that with my crappy two megabytes per second internet. That isn't exactly been working out too great. And it turns out this morning, uh, my seven seven day trial of the online membership has ended. So yesterday's uh, little session of mine and Zelrog's little smash session was the last one I'm probably gonna have. Oh, that sucks. It was fine. I mean, we had a few good responsive rounds here and there, but most of it was chugging pretty bad. But. I, I, I feel like I got some stocks off him pretty good. So I didn't I didn't get to beat his dwarf yet, and I don't think that's gonna happen for a hot minute. Alright. Uh Delrock's saying that I should add a gain, so I'm gonna do that. Give me a second. Gain filters. Add gain. Said plus eight. Eight decibels you said? Oh, I'll see that. All right. Okay. Well, the gain's up. So. What is he talking about? Trying to filter out the volume increase? He's trying to get yeah get your volume and in to increase. Yeah, because I, so I, I added swear it. I, I think all my I think all my audio options are maxed. I, at least I think so. Well, I, I took care of it on my end, so. I could the vol the game volume is lower for me, but I don't really need need it that much. If it if the game audio is too loud, let me know, uh, Zelrog. Oh, so I beat the first boss, uh, a skeleton with giant skeleton with a with a fucking club. Don't think I got. Yeah. What, what's his name? I forgot his name. Oh uh, well. I think I I think it's just. I think it's just Giant Skeleton. They're, some of the boss names are pretty generic in this game. Sounds about right now. Okay, cool. So I can continue playing with no ill effects. Oh, hey! So speaking of uh, Metroidvanias, uh, uh, besides Castlevania, have you ever played any other Metroidvanias? Um, I've played a handful. I, I mentioned on stream a few times. I brought it up. But it does exist, and I used to own it back when I was a kid. There is a Cat in the Hat PS2 game based off the Mike Myers movie, and it is very much a Metroidvania in which it's like a 2.5D side scrolling game. You have like this umbrella as a weapon that shoots bubbles, and you just kind of go around the map backtracking, unlocking stuff, and then you have to backtrack more to go to the next area. It's a Metroidvania Cat in the Hat game, dude. That is but, um, that is interesting. It's By the way, trippy. I, I had fun with it, but um. By the way, I got Keeping Ice Soul uh, first try. Oh my god, man! You're getting some crazy. That's crazy RNG. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pretty lucky, but um, I haven't played the Shantae games. Uh, I haven't played. I haven't really played that many Metroids. I've played Metroid Fusion, Zero Mission, and the NES game, but I haven't played any of the Metroid Prime games. I haven't even played Super Metroid. Um, let's see here. I haven't even played Bloodstained, and people will be asking me, Oh, you need to play Bloodstained. That's made by IGA. That's made by the same guy that made Castlevania. Why haven't you played uh, Bloodstained yet? I'm like, it's not Castlevania. That's why. See, the, I like... Castlevania for very specific reasons, like characters, plot, uh, artwork, music. Yeah. Very, very specific reasons. But I just haven't really felt like Bloodstained was on my priority list because it's not a Castlevania title. It's a completely different, world, completely different universe, different yeah. characters. I get and that. Yeah, I get the it, and yeah, the gameplay is like all there is. It's like, yeah, it's Metroidvania, but so is a lot of games. There's a lot of Metroidvanias out there, but. It just yeah. wasn't on my radar, is all. Uh, you ever heard of a, a Blasphemous? 
Yeah, I that saw one. a bunch of gameplay for that. That's that's fun. It's uh, it's like a Metroidvania, but the flavor instead of it being like dark medieval fantasy or futuristic sci-fi, it's just Spanish Catholic guilt. It's great. It, when I looked at it, it reminded me of what Dark Souls would be like if it was a Metroidvania. That's the impression I got from it. If Dark Souls was Metroidvania, it's uh, it is quite interesting to play. I also uh, recently played and beat Hollow Knight, which is a Bugs Haven't Life. Played meet, that game either. Uh, Bugs Life meets Dark Souls. This is how I would describe uh, describe it. I like how uh, Soma Cruz traded up from like his cheap pocket knife to an actual like medieval dagger. No, it's funny because um, now it's funny because yeah, Soma Cruz he goes from being this otherwise just completely normal exchange student to coming to this castle, and now he knows how to use all these different types of weapons, like these giant ass medieval swords, axes, spears. Like he's experienced with all of them. I have a feeling that uh, Soma, he has he he uh just inherited some like stuff from being uh, Dracula's reincarnation. He just inherited oh, hey, spo knowledge. Spoilers, dude. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna care about yeah. that. I think everyone knows at this point. You think you think uh, Castlevania was? Uh, you think uh, Soma Cruz as Dracula? He just remembered that Dracula. It was like a master swordsman. He's a master of all these like different weapons. I I don't know. I mean, it's possible. I think there might have been a point where he oh, was yeah. a swordsman. That's right. Look at his regular vertical leap. He has like <laughs> it's like it's like if Clark Kent uh, paid no mind to the fact that he could fly or fire laser beams from his eyes or whatever. And he's just like, oh, that's weird. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, that's right. I got a map. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, the, the basic way of playing this is just yeah. Make sure you go to every room and any room that you don't have access to, you just come back later. What about the messenger? Have you played the messenger or heard, seen footage no. of it? No, I don't, I don't even think I've. I don't even think I've heard of it either. Oh, that's good. That then that'll be the next thing we'll play after Ari of Sorrow, and then we'll move on to Dawn of Sorrow after that. Okay. I, I, cause, uh, that game is, that game's fun. That game has a, has a really interesting, uh, plot, and, uh, doesn't really take itself too seriously. Cool. It's a little archer. I realize I haven't been throwing spears a whole lot. Eh, I think, you know, you only have to. I think when you want to really use that is, like, maybe against, like, bosses or more powerful enemies where you can spam it. Cause it is a pretty strong move. I'm kind of playing recklessly. Oh, yeah, you're doing fine. Oh, is that that's a but, uh, that's a weapon up there, but I can't get it yet because I can't turn into something. Yep, one of the many tease tease weapons that they throw in here. You gotta come back later. Yep. Uh, something that uh, that Hollow Knight does, which I found pretty interesting, is that is that you if you on the map you can put down like uh, little pins, which allow you to like mark down. Hey, this uh, I should probably come back here later. Now see, Lament of Innocence does that. There's a couple Castlevanias that let you do that, but not all of them do it. But yeah. Zelrog, speak, I wanted to bring this up too. Uh, is, is Zelrog even watching? Was that him in the chat? Yeah, he's uh, he's on the chat as 4 Studios. Yeah, I figured. So, yeah, Zelrog streamed Lament of Innocence I've seen about it. a couple months back. Yeah. It was we, painful. I know you're, you were in the chat too when you were doing it. Yeah. I tried for two years. I've been part of this channel. I've been trying to get Castlevania on this channel for two years. So <laughs> I finally, he streamed it reluctantly. And this is this is the problem, okay? This yeah. is where things get tricky. Gonna air it's, some grievances a, right now? Yeah, it's... As a Castlevania fan, it's tricky. You have to really pick and choose what game you want someone to play, especially when you're trying to introduce someone into the series. Because these games have so much variety and gimmicks attached to them. So the only reason why I wanted him to play Lament of Innocence was purely because it's the origin story and I wanted him to understand why the Belmonts came into the picture, why Dracula happened, what the beef was between them, how the vampire killer whip came to be, so on and so forth. But you have there's some problems with that. One, it's a 3D Castlevania game. Not a lot of people like that. 
It has a fixed camera, not a lot of people like that either, and yeah. it's a hack and slash. And to him, it reminded him a lot of Devil May Cry in some aspects, and he didn't like backtracking too much. To be fair, there wasn't that much backtracking in that game, but it was mostly the combat, and it was... Frankly, at the end of the stream, he was like, he says, uh, hot take, um, you're not gonna like this, but, uh, I think Kid Dracula's better. Yeah, he thinks that Kid Dracula is better than Lament of Innocence, and Kid Dracula isn't even a real Castlevania game, dude. It was like a spinoff. It was a spinoff. It was a gag game. It was like a gag manga game, dude. <laughs> you're never gonna let him live this down, are you? I I'm not... I can't even be mad at him either because that's just how it is. It's his preference, and like, oh, I get it. Hello, I get. It's a man in a suit, man in white yeah. suit. Hello there. Uh, hi, you're human, aren't you? He's stuttering. You're. He He's been killing zombies. He has the nerve to stutter. My name is Graham. Graham Jones. Let's just say yeah. I'm a missionary. Uh, that's everyone's favorite position. Oh, I'm Soma. Soma Cruz. If you weren't here in the shrine before, you were. Where are you? How did you get here? I'm not sure. I went to the shrine gate, and boom! I was here. <laughs> now I'm just picturing like he just talks like a like some kind of delinquent, like uh, like Kuabara or something. Or that's. <laughs> There's a couple moments where he acts like that. There is. This, that's why I said some of his like dialogue was questionable. Questionable because he does act like a degenerate sometimes. <laughs> I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. <laughs> I'm turning 24 on the 27th. Maybe this year. Eh, eh. Yes, I'll play Goblin Commander eventually. Sorry. I'm sorry for taking so long on that. But isn't Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? In theory, yes. But his true castle exists somewhere else. Didn't we already have this conversation with Ericado? <laughs> uh, I, I just I take it for given that Dracula's castle, the, uh, the Castlevania, it just goes wherever it pleases. It can move. Like Howl's castle. It's true castle. Yeah, that that that's how it works. Yeah, he can move it wherever he wants. It's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? <laughs> well, uh, no. I thought the story of Dracula was made up. Actually, no. It's all true. It was leaked to the outside world. It was I, leaked. It I was a. It was leaked. It was leaked. Uh. Like 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 he just posts on a WikiLeaks. He's like, vampires are real. Lol. Got to take this to Reddit. <laughs> I I love the conversations in these games. These these games are are just so the plot lines and the conversations are Lynchian almost. Usually the church handles these things with secret utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times when people lost faith and craved chaos and destruction. So are you trying to tell me now that Dracula has been resurrected? No. Dracula perished in 1999. Oh, they, oh before yeah, the turn he, of the millennium. Yep, there he did. And we'll talk about that here in a second, because I got some words for that. All right. You, you, <laughs> I got some words for that. You know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostradamus' great prophecy? That's oh, right. Nostradamus. Dracula was resurrected exactly as he predicted, but vampire hunters destroyed him completely. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing the, his castle, the symbol of his well, demonic power, inside well, the darkness of an eclipse. 2012 worked out so great, didn't it? We'll see how this turns out, right? Dra Dracula's a time lord, you're inside his darkness. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't Dracula, Dracula like? Artist. Wasn't Dracula like some kind of like like ultra smart dude? Yeah, because. Uh, the way it works, you'll notice that, like, in every game, most of the stuff in his castle is, like, way ahead of its time. Like, yeah. you'll see, for instance, in Curse of Darkness, that game takes place in, like, the 1400s, and yet you can get weapons like electric guitars, Gatling guns, laser <laughs> swords. <laughs> Dracula, Dracula, Dracula invented fucking rock and roll. 
<laughs> Pretty much. I'm just yeah. picturing I'm just picturing Dracula on top of a stage with the fucking uh, flamethrower guitar from fucking Mad Max Fury Road and then a bunch of skeletons just just playing drums and stuff. It's it's great. Dracula in Castlevania is, is kind of cool. Yeah. And that eclipses where we are now. Yes, but there's still more to the story. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> I just, just imagine the shock in his voice. Where he's like, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> there's more. This isn't the craziest this has gotten. In the year oh, 2035, on, a new master would come to the castle, and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, that time is now. I better get going, is that all thing? <laughs> I like I like that this this is a castle with a bunch of evil creatures. All these people are just kinda wandering around. Yeah. Oh, yes, thank you! Well maybe we'll see you again later. The nineteen ninety nine prophecy, Dracula was gonna trigger Y two K. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even doubt if that was maybe part of it too. But um, that's the yeah. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, um, tell me about nineteen ninety nine. So, throughout the course of this game and the next game, the sequel, Dawn of Sorrow, they bring up the so they bring up this event called the uh, Demon Castle War of nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. And as he just told you, Dracula perished in nineteen ninety nine, as by a fellow that you meet named Julius Belmont. Okay? Yes. I, I, the now, goatee dude. Yeah, the, the goatee guy with the ponytail. Now, the thing about this that really sucks, now, you would think that a moment like that, where, where Dracula perishes for good, where the last Belmont in the bloodline finally kills Dracula once and for all, and he gets reincarnated into this, you know, albino school kid, this, this, this foreign exchange student, right? You'd think that a moment like that would have a game of its own and it would be so badass, right? Well, we don't have a game like that. We haven't, this game came out in like, what, 2003, I think? Yeah, this came out in 2003. It has been almost two decades since this game came out and we don't have a game about Julius Belmont probably, or the events of 1999. I'm just picturing like a situation where Julius Belmont was just sitting where where Dracula would like wake up just with the vampire killer ready, just waiting. And then Dracula woke up and was like, Hello, I am Dracula and he just he just some just does a just initiates a giant beatdown on him. That's why there's no game, because the game would literally be like five minutes long. Yeah. That would be something, but yeah. But no, it, it is very disappointing that we do not have a game featuring Julius Belmont or talking or even revolving around that very pivotal moment in the series because that's important. That's like the most important part of the series and where he dies. But um, for good, no, not, I because he dies reason, all the time. Think, this is the one where he dies for good. Yeah, he dies for good. Yeah, he dies for good that time. Okay. Now, the reason why we haven't gotten it, and here's the theory, is because that was IGA's project. That was his big idea. And since IGA left Konami back in, like, 2010... They're not going to They haven't... It. Yeah, and... Oh, and that's another thing. Um, Konami hasn't really made any other mainline Castlevania games since he left. All we've gotten since then were reboots, spinoffs, and ports. And that's it. We mm -hmm. haven't had a mainline Castlevania game that was inducive to the plot since then. We haven't. Yeah, and it kind of sucks because, as you said, like, people wanted another Castlevania-style game made by the same creator, but they all, but they also wanted, like, the characters and the story to... Because Dracula yeah. is timeless. Like, let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's just say that right there. Dracula, he's a fucking public domain character. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. But no, we got to deal with Bloodstain for now, and people are people are still asking, like, oh, why don't they just give the rights to Castlevania to IGA? Why don't they just do that? Well, because well, they're not going to do it because they're fucking Konami. It. It's Konami, all right? This is the same company, and for those of you that don't know, we're going to talk about it right now. Yeah, do it. For those of you that don't know, Konami made the ever so genius decision to shut down Castlevania Grimoire of Souls. The recent mobile game that came out not even a year ago, and it was supposed to be, it, it technically was a mainline game because it took place at the very end of the story, way past Dawn of Sorrow, and it was going to be like a crossover story and a time travel story that had a bunch of the Belmonts and the protagonists 
coming together and, you know, defeating the main antagonist. I don't know who it was because I didn't get to play the game, but there was going to be, like, interactions and dialogue between the Belmonts. We would have saw character development and character dynamics. We would have seen all that stuff. That would have been cool. But we didn't get that because Konami shut it down. They said that they weren't having that much success. And the reason why they weren't having that much success, well, there's two reasons for that. One, yeah. it was a free-to-play game. It was free to play. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's always yeah. a risk if you if you don't know how to do that properly. Getting them yeah, either see, pissing people off or you know yeah. what was, uh, and what I'll was, get to that in a second. Okay, you know what was free to play? The, now, uh, hmm? I'm, I'm thinking in the most pop one of the best examples of a good free to play game was uh was a uh, Fate Go. Yeah, and there's a lot of free to play games that are successful, my, like wildly successful free to play games. Okay, but here's where they here's where they went wrong. Okay, yeah, go for it. The reason why they went wrong is because from the people who played it, they say that the microtransactions in that game were very minute and inconsequential. Like uh -huh. you could do everything in the game, you could max out characters, you could unlock almost everything in the game without even spending a dime. Okay. Yeah. Second, here's the pr here's the second problem. Okay. The game was only released in Canada. It what? wasn't even released in Japan. Wait, yeah. wait, it, it why? Was, it was, I what? don't know. I don't know. It wait. was Canada exclusive. <laughs> it wasn't even released in Japan. Oh, we get to we get to have our own Castlevania game, eh? Gonna, yeah, gonna be great. Canada had their own exclusive Castlevania game, and it wasn't even released in Japan or the U.S., <laughs> which is like where the main fandom is for that game, dude. The, the fuck? main fandom for Castlevania is in the U.S. So, so let's put this together, right? You make a free-to-play game where your microtransactions aren't even that useful, and you release it in a country where not even most of your player base is active. So of course your game is gonna fail and not make that much money. I think they, no one's even spending money on it. You know what? I think they didn't even want it to succeed because that sounds like a total like, like oh well we tried like how, like how you see a, a ball comes at somebody it passes by them and they just look at the ball and they raise their hand. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's weird. Well, though, fight Chimera. Or they, sorry, Manticore. The weird, the weird thing is, is that they were like putting updates out. They had events for the game. There were costumes, there were there was active stuff going on in the game. Now, everyone's theory, for a long time, everyone's theory was that it was like some beta thing to where it was only in Canada because they wanted to test it first. That's, and that was my that, first stop, then I re remember, yeah. wait a minute, this is Konami. Yeah, but no, it was the full game. That was the full game, and they just never released it outside of Canada. And I'm just confused as to why, instead of shutting it down, they didn't just release it to the other countries globally and then see how it would do to you make more they, money. But no, nope. they didn't buy enough they servers. Really... They didn't have enough like server space, and they're like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, man. No one's gonna play was... this game anyway. Which is kind of a negative thing, the negative way to look at it. Like, like I, I remember that uh, that fucking. Hey, I got. Wait, hold on. What I get? A silk robe. Wait, this is silk is stronger than cotton, I guess. It also makes me more intelligent. Clearly. But yeah, don't you know that a uh, spider silk is made for uh, bulletproof vests? I didn't. Is that is that true? Oh, yeah. Now that I beat the silk. boss, the, the the ghost dancers are I feel the need that they can come back. They're like, hey, we can come back now. Let's dance. Ah, but shit. um. Yeah, it, it's very tragic that Konami decided to go this route. I'm not so this is one of the most I'm not surprised, yet I'm surprised moments I've ever had because I don't know why they would spend so much time and effort. They released trailers for this game. They hired back like Just Dude, they hired back Ayami Kojima to do all this new art for the game. And it didn't even go anywhere, dude. Just they Konami. put in all this effort to do nothing. Cause Konami are are more like the people running Konami don't... They... God. They're being very confusing right now because... Re, like, right now, they're doing a lot of stuff for Silent Hill. Like, recently, they've been doing some good stuff for Silent Hill. They put Pyramid Head in Dead by Daylight. They, oh, yeah, I uh, saw they that. A, they announced a new Silent Hill game for PS5 that they're working on. Oh. And they released a bunch of the Silent Hill soundtracks on Spotify. So they're giving Silent Hill a bunch of attention as of late, but... Why are, like, on the other hand, now they're just giving the shaft to Castlevania again by shutting this down. I don't know what's going on with them, dude. They're 
They're a very confusing they're, company. D some would uh, say that they're a very terrible company. Like, like I know that Jim Sterling, you know him, the 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 fat yeah, dude. Yeah. He does. He's his. Uh, he had a for a while. I don't know if he still does, but for a while he had a segment which was just called like "Fuck Konami News" because they because yeah. they keep fucking up like hard. Uh, he talked about this too. He talked about this little thing too. About yeah, I saw the link. He covered it. Yeah, he talked about it too. So he he's up to he's up to date on this stuff. So he he knows. But um, yeah. yeah, Konami, I don't know what you're doing, but see, uh, you got to stop. You got to stop this shenanigans. You got to stop. Just knock it off. So I beat two bosses. I beat uh, the uh, the Manticore. Yeah. Jim. Pretty oh, here we go. Jim clothes. Uh, defense up, constitution up, until oh, yeah. Let's just do it. I need more defense. I right, look at my look at my health. It's kind of pathetic. Yeah. Please let this be a save room. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Got to get to a save point. The <laughs> thing, and that this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of a hot take, I guess. And I'm not sorry for saying this either. Yeah. Every single game that IGA has been involved in with Castlevania, every single game that he's made, well, I guess not every single game, mainly the 2D ones, every one of the 2D Castlevania games that he's made are very much the same. They're all the same. They are Metroidvania. Yeah. They have the same structure. And they can all amount to... Yeah, they're all basically the same game. And I guess you can't be like, well, the classic games are kind of the same too because they're all linear. You just go from stage to stage. But you've played Symphony of the Night. you played this game. You might as well have played the other ones too because the only thing that makes them stand out from each other is what gimmick they have. Like this game. This game has the soul mechanic. Portrait of Ruin has variety with the weapons. Uh, it has like a partner mechanic. Order of Ecclesia has the glyph mechanic, which is kind of similar to this. It's very similar to so, the soul mechanic. I played Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, and that was essentially very similar to uh, to Ca uh, Castlevania 3 in terms of just you're able to recruit. Uh, I need to use my other potion. Yeah, that and yeah, that that was the whole. I think that was their intention is that they're they're trying to emulate the style of certain Castlevania games. Like, the Curse of the Moon games are trying to emulate the NES style of Castlevania. And Bloodstained, the actual Bloodstained, tried to emulate, you know, Symphony of the Night and the other Metroidvania games, but that's, I think, that's what they're trying to do. I probably could have done that a bit better. I need, a, I need an upward swinging weapon at some point. Like a like a katana or something. I like I like yeah. uh, I like I, think I like the Castlevania Metroidvanias because it allows you to equip different weapons. It's like you're you're not you don't have like a legendary sword of like whatever that gets stronger as you as you use it. You're just using whatever the fuck you can find and and you have to kind of get used to how it handles. Like oh here's an axe. This is stronger than than what I was using before. I'm gonna use this now. And see, and that's another thing too, uh -oh. is that um, with with that kind of uh, the gameplay style, that's another problem that you're going to have to face when you introduce certain people to the franchise. Because when I think Castlevania, I think macho dudes with a whip killing monsters, okay? Yeah. And platform. But there are some folks that will only like certain games like this one where you're not using a whip because they don't like that. They like the idea of using a variety of weapons that they could switch at any time. Yeah. But me personally, I've always been a fan of the whip combat. That I always thought the whip was unique. Castlevania was one of the only games I've ever played that actually made a whip look badass. And super really super fun Castlevania 4 is my favorite Castlevania because it, it allowed you to use the whip in like all eight directions. I thought that was really And neat. that's the only time it's done that and they've never gone back to that either. That's, yeah. the, that's the weird thing. They've never gone back to that. I know that they've AVGN was, was reviewing that. all these like Castlevania games and he was like, he was like got to Castlevania 4. He's like, why do the other fucking games do this? It's great. <laughs> I think the, the reason why they did that I mean, this is just a theory. I think the reason why they did that was because it kind of made things a little too easy because you that got game is hard control. To shit. 
Like, the game is No, still... I mean nowadays. If you brought oh. that into certain games like now, because you could just... That covers all your area. You wouldn't have to time your jumps. You wouldn't have to get at certain angles. You could just move the whip anywhere you wanted, and you could just kill the enemy right there. But no, they wanted, I think they wanted to just add more challenge by like, oh, you gotta, you gotta angle your jumps, you gotta time your jumps, you gotta do all this stuff to kill the enemy. You, 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 we can't just make it that easy for you, no. So you gotta sacrifice control. Oh, man. I really, Castlevania 4 is my first Castlevania game. I really like that game. It has a really good soundtrack. And... Pete, now this, the people lose their minds when I tell them this, though. Yeah. My first Castlevania game was Castlevania 64, and that's what got me into the series. And people are like, what? How did that get into the series? That's like one of the worst ones out there. That game has like no yeah, music, that the, game has bad platforming, the, it has a bad camera. Yeah, well you start I, from the bottom and then every other game like impresses you. But even then, now listen, now listen here, okay? Yeah. Having played, having played pretty much every game in the series, yeah. I can go back to that game and I still think it's easily within my top five because it's so different. Now, here's the thing. Now, this is why I think Castlevania 64 is underrated and why I think it's frankly better than some of the more better ones. I think it's better than Symphony of the Night, I'm gonna say it. I think Castlevania 64 is better oh. than Symphony of the Night. Here we go. I'm, I'm Hello. dead serious. <laughs> hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Yes, but who are... I, I'm Yoko Be Belnades. So, yeah, Spanish? Spanish? Yep, Spanish. I, Spanish I'm stuff. a member of the church. Oh, like that other dude. She's a descendant of Sypha from Castlevania 3. Okay. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Alu... Um, I mean, Jinya... <laughs> yeah, nice. Real nice. Nice. <laughs> As if it wasn't already any more inconspicuous before, now it's totally given away. He dyed his hair black and dressed in a black suit, and, and, and now he's a different person. He's Japanese now. Yeah, it's just Japanese a la carte, avocado. Yeah, I did meet him, but he told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Oh, he said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cool at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty all right. Alucard. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait. You say my powers are dark? Dude, you summit you you absorb the souls of monsters. Oh, you mean you didn't know that? <laughs> I could have sworn he told you. Oh, well. Uh, oh no. Did I say something? Well, what's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule and commit over and command monsters. Rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. This game is throwing a lot at him. He's like, first, like, oh, you're trapped in the castle in an eclipse. By the way, you can control monsters. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the history of, uh, of the castle. Uh, <laughs> just wandering through a castle and he's just like I, I don't know what's going on anymore it comes as naturally as breathing for you so you may not realize it yet though I called it a dark power that doesn't mean it's evil uh, it's like a weapon its user decides whether to use it for good or evil evil it's like if you fight a villain like like this dude who's like this in dark armor with skulls on it and he's has a dark demon laugh and his weapon just happens to be Excalibur yeah. That'd be that'd be and no, you know what? That'd be that reminds me. Yeah. That reminds me of Riku. That's kind of like Riku from Kingdom Hearts because he, as yeah. he, as the series goes on, he uses darkness as a means to fight evil. So yeah. it doesn't necessarily make it evil if it's dark power. <laughs> just like I'd like to see heroic necromancer. He just summons zombies to like fight crime or something. That'd be great. But when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose my sense of self. We're like only like like 40 minutes in. <laughs> it's just 40 minutes, he's like, this castle, it's affecting me. You're not even here for an hour and you're already losing your shit? You are yourself, there's no one else you could be. Don't second guess yourself, be confident, that's most important. I think I understand now, thanks Yoko. I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Graham? 
Oh yeah, the missionary, Graham Jones. Yes, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. But he was a missionary. How could that be? No, wait, he did not look like a bad guy. He was wearing a white suit. See, Soma is as well. Right, <laughs> and I've got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. Uh, all right. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. <laughs> all right. Now that that's over with, let's continue. Um, so we've progressed quite. A We're already. We already got fifteen percent of the map mapped out. Yeah, but so, on the other hand, there's a lot of backtracking, so even though you got most map covered, you gotta go from place to place. Yeah. Oh, now now a fucking five, uh, five-legged lion just inhabits the fucking place now that she's gone. Oh my god. But, um, oh yeah, but back to, uh, my reasoning for why I think Castlevania 64 is better than Symphony of the Night. It is the only game, oh, the shit. only game in the series that managed to genuinely creep me out. Genuinely oh, yeah. give me the creeps. Because that's also the only game where vampires are actually a recurring enemy. Like, actually giving oh, yeah. you weight to actually being called a vampire hunter. So that's like the only game where vampires are actually recurring enemies, and they look creepy, oh, so, dude. Like, so there's like more than Dracula, there's like more than yeah, two vampires? Yeah, there's actual, like, vampire minions in that game that lurk throughout the castle, and you can get turned into a vampire as, like, a status effect. Oh, really? Wait, but it's only temporary? Or is it permanent? Yeah, you... no, oh. it's not permanent. You just need an item to get rid of it. But if you get turned into a vampire, you can't use your whip. You can only use, like, your sub-weapons and your sword. <laughs> I I love the fact that you can just randomly get turned into a vampire in that game. Just, oh, I'm a vampire yeah, now. It's okay, though. I'll, I'll find a cure for it. Gotta take my yeah, garlic that... supplements or however the fuck you get rid of it. Oh, hey. That game introduced a couple... It introduced some new ideas, and I think it needs to be praised more for it. It had, like, a dynamic day and night system. It, um, it didn't just take place in the castle, which is something that Zelrog has a problem with. He doesn't like the idea that most Castlevanias just take place in one area. But that game takes place, like, outside in the forest. You go into a watch, like a watchtower, and then you go into the castle, and then a mansion. You go multiple places at once. Um, but yeah, like in four, you just you go through the front gate, you go through like a yeah. tunnel and stuff, and then you get to the castle at some point. But I could really other go than for that, another weapon, right? Oh yes, I was like thinking, like, oh. where am I gonna get another weapon? And I'm like, all right, whip sword. Oh, it's 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 slightly weaker. But you know what? I could use the range. Oh yeah, I get. I yeah. got Ivy's. I got Ivy's sword. <laughs> you, remember, you played Soul Calibur, right? <laughs> yeah, I played Soul Ivy's Calibur. weird ass fucking, <laughs> fucking whip sword. Speaking of that, okay. Speaking of Soul Calibur, I gotta bring this up. When I got Soul Calibur Six, yeah, they had that character customization system. So when I first got it, my first instinct was to try to make as many Castlevania characters as I could. As you would. So. Uh, yeah, so what would happen was you get to pick, you know, their their play style, their move set. Yeah. So obviously, since Ivy is like the only character that has like a whip based move set with her sword whip, oh yeah, I had to pick that. Now here's the problem with that: when you yeah. pick Ivy's move set, every single character that you make, well, I'm talking every Belmont, every single Belmont that I have moves like they're doing some sexy like sexy <laughs> sensual poses when yeah. they do their moves dude yeah it's, they're because they're they've been drawn by uh kojima so they're just all sexy <laughs> yeah, vampire so. they all move like they're fucking characters in uh in fucking no. uh, jojo's bizarre adventure yeah yeah so imagine it's... imagine macho man simon over here twirling whenever he's sitting there using that whip dude yeah it's crazy so it, it kind of I wish they would have fixed that to where if you could just have their weapons and not necessarily their like set because that just looks a little little weird yeah. having Belmont's look like that. Yeah, but at least Alucard he can he can uh, wield a sword. Uh, oh god. Yeah, he gets. A, With... I can make him like Raphael. Yeah, Raphael would fit more than like Zhenghua because Zhenghua has a bit of a. There we go. Save point. That's closer. 
I could have a feeling I'm gonna fight a boss soon. Uh, yeah, Zhang Hua is uh, is kind of twirls a bit with her with her sword. Yeah. <laughs> Student witch, just all these all manner of creatures just inhabit Dracula's castle, and I guess Dracula can get control them all, like a student witch just randomly there. Like, what's her story? I, I, I think the whole thing with them is that all the creatures that are inside the castle are just, like, manifestations of the castle. Like, they're just... They're all demons. Like, they're oh. all just monsters concocted by the castle, and they, they just mindlessly obey Dracula, and they just simp over him. <laughs> simp over... Nice. Good use of the term simp. They do. It's crazy. And like, in um, Azorok brought this up. He's like, oh, Dracula must not be very loyal. But in Castlevania, Dracula's pretty loyal because he's only had like two wives. He had the first wife in Lament of Innocence and then she got killed and that's what caused him to become a vampire. And then Symphony of the Night, he, his wife was Lisa and then she got killed and then that's what made him want to exact vengeance on humanity. And then yeah. ever since then, he's pretty much been single. Yeah, he's like, I've I've tried it twice, never again. Could never love. He's got human. sucky. He's got a lot of succubus servants, but again, he can just toss them by the wayside. He doesn't really care about them, but they they worship him. They worship him though. All right, boss number three. Great armor. Fortunately, I got a whip sword. That means I could just pierce through the shield. <laughs> I'm just kind of cutting through these bosses like crazy. All right, come on. Uh oh, damn. So yeah, uh, all these creatures, including uh, ah oh, shit, haunted. Uh, that's yeah, not gonna work. Haunted suits of armor inhabited by demons. Which is that, uh, I like to th think that it's just a witch, and, uh, and she's like, I wonder how it can increase my power. Huh, oh, I, I better, I better visit Dracula, I'm sure he can, he can do something about that. <laughs> I imagine Dracula would have some human servants, he's like, hey, you wanna help me destroy humanity? And, and she's like, hey, if you increase my power... Yeah, he does, he does, cause, like, yeah. there's the, uh... There's some of the shopkeepers that those are human people, but they just worship him. So he he does have some servants that just worship him. But, oh uh, yeah, this guy, I love this guy. He's great. It's a child <laughs> like yourself doing a place like this. Child, you're rude, Grandpa. Oh, it's Chris Daughtry. My apologies. Chris. It's what? I said it's Chris Daughtry. <laughs> my name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. Army's like, Dracula's castle has appeared in the eclipse. You must go and stop them. He's like, okay, Sergeant. It's like, like, okay, who do we send? Do we send the Air Force, the Coast Guard, the Space Force? Who do we send? No, you send Hammer. This is, I wonder what... Just one guy. Just one guy named Hammer. You think this guy hunts werewolves or something? <laughs> He's like the no, werewolf I'm hunter. You think... Now, the thing with him... Yeah. Is that... Hammer, this character, this character has a very bizarre development history. Okay? Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, so the thing with him is that he's supposed to be a descendant of Grant Dynasty from Castlevania 3. Okay? okay. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that in the games. It's supposed to be one of those behind-the-scenes things that you're supposed to just do research on your own. But he is supposed to be a Dynasty. Okay. So that's part one. Part two is that he was supposed to be playable in Dawn of Sorrow, but they scrapped that. Oh. He was also supposed to be playable. Yeah, he was also supposed to be playable in the uh, the uh, multiplayer game Harmony of Despair. That was scrapped too. Oh. So Hammer's been getting the shaft lately. He's been getting the hammer, oh. so to speak. Getting the shaft. To... Oh yeah, he fights Shaft at one point. Yeah. I forgot yeah. there was a priest named Shaft, and every time I yeah, hear, I think fucking... of Shaft, I think of that one fucking. Like, action yep. hero, black action hero, Shaft. Yep, Shaft, yep. Yeah. But no, yeah, Hammer has a really weird development history. So yeah, he's supposed to be a dynasty, even they don't make that clear. And at one point, he was supposed to be playable, but then they scrapped that. So yeah, he uh, yeah. sucks for him. 
Yeah, he's a shopkeeper now. I yeah, think I remember him. Shopkeeper. I thought I was inspecting the shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? <laughs> so I just bailed <laughs> off of his shit. <laughs> I love this guy. <gasps> what do you mean? There, there were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. He quit being in the military to open up a store. This guy is this guy is a mad lad. Oh, he's a mad lad, all right. Just see what he does in the second game when he tries to simp over fucking Yoko. Hey, Yoko, you want to get with me? Who are you? Get oh, never mind. Yeah, uh, good Hammer, for Hammer you. and Yoko. Hammer and Yoko, my ultimate OTP. Yeah. There are weapons all over this castle and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. See you around, wahahaha! <laughs> Alright, so we can buy shit from him. Oh man. Yep, he is the shopkeeper. Shop, huh? Well, I mean, we're loaded. We've got, uh, how much do we got? Uh, where's, where's our gold? There it is. 1,717... Gold. How, how, how... Ah, cool! Got double jump. Nice. Double jump is... This game This game has a pretty good double jump. We were talking about uh, double jumps with uh, with Zelrog. And, uh... And we were talking about how uh, Jack and, from Jack and Daxter doesn't have a good double jump. Just kind well, of don't even get us started. Don't even get us started on uh, Crash uh, Mind Over Mutant because I saw how bad that double jump was in that game. Because he got to a he got to a side scrolling segment where he had to jump on vines. That is the first double jump I've ever seen. Even worse than Jack and Daxter because even with Jack and Daxter, the double jump at least gives you height. Okay, you might lose momentum, but at least you get height out of it. With the Crash Mind Over Mutant double jump, he loses momentum and height at the same time. It doesn't even do anything. <laughs> it's a reverse double jump. It's a. It. Oh. Oh, hey, cool. I got. I got the Bure, uh, uh item. But I already. Nice. So with double jump, I don't think I'll need. Uh, I'll need the winged armor. She whacked me there, fucking bro. The double jump is fine in Jack and Dex. I beg to differ. Charles! <laughs> it's pretty spotty here and there, like, it's it's fine, it's just spotty here and there. By the way, in this game you can collect multiple, uh, vert- you can collect multiple, uh, souls, right? You can collect, uh, the- Yeah, you can- you max them out to nine, I think it amplifies their, uh- Abilities. Uh, it amplifies their usefulness, yeah. Alright, well, now I gotta- I gotta backtrack, so I'm gonna do that. Ow. God. Yeah, the Castlevania franchise is just... It's so... It, there's so much... Uh, uh, in it. And it's just... Like, it goes... It spawns, like, so many eras. I was surprised that this game took place in, like, 2035. I'm like, oh, this is the future Cyberpunk yeah, Castlevania. Future. And no, it's just... And it, no, and it's funny because this... It's weird because you'd think... People pointed this out because it takes place in the 2030s. And, like we just discussed, Dracula is usually ahead of his time, and you yeah. think that, oh, this castle would be, like, way futuristic. We'd be seeing robots everywhere, we'd be seeing all this other stuff. But I think the reason why it's not as futuristic as it is, is because Dracula's not running it. Yeah, He's he, not running it anymore. He died in 1999. So kind of, he couldn't put, like, yes. quantum computers and shit in, in his, uh, in his uh, castle, because yeah, he was so. dead. It's just kind of sitting there. The castle's just kind of sitting there in suspended animation while Dracula doesn't get to update it. It's stuck on Windows 98, man. Yeah, he's, he didn't upgrade to uh, to Linux. God, can you imagine Dracula just in front of a fucking computer? Alright, broadsword. Uh... Alright, cool. I think that's still pretty long. Yeah, that'll work. Finally, get a get a upward up uh, swinging weapon. Whatever you do, whatever you do, don't use weapons like the two-handed swords because those are kind of uh, they give you a disadvantage because you can't really use them as fast. And um, 
using them in the air isn't that good and they're not they're just not that useful i've never really had much of a good time using the double handed weapons so don't use those i could probably just stick to you're talking about like these oh. dracula has a twitter <laughs> he, he would oh man all right heart pendant what is uh, what's this one do Luck up. Yeah, sure. Maybe I'll get more souls. I've been kind of on a drive spell lately. Yeah, so I wonder. It's weird, like, this is the weird thing about the luck, is that you've been having a pretty good string of getting the souls lately, but, like, you'll turn up your luck, and then somehow your your luck just starts going down, even though you've increased it. You're not getting as many souls as you used to. It's weird like that. Yeah. Evil it's. I think it's just it's just, it is just literally luck, and you just and it's just a kind of an irony where you increase the chance you would get souls, and then your souls just drop. You don't get as many souls anyway, or maybe there's a glitch yeah. uh, where like increasing luck actually decreases it. I don't know. Games could be weird like that. Yeah, even, like, for instance, you can even turn up, uh, you can max it out to 999, and you'd probably still get the same output of souls as you are now. Does luck do nothing? That'd be... It feels like it. It feels like it sometimes. Alright, back in, uh... Oops, didn't mean to go that way. There we go. Oh, I got a combat knife. I'm not gonna fucking use it, probably, but... That that knife is actually probably one of the best weapons you're gonna get for a while. Oh, yeah, you're right. Recommend. Shit. It is really useful. That combat knife is really good. Oh, that's fast, too. All right. You probably won't be replacing that for a while. It's weird how a combat knife is stronger than a fucking broadsword. Broadsword? <laughs> no, you see, this isn't just any normal combat knife. This is, like, kind of fucking combat knife you would see on like a late on like some kind of like late night uh infomercial it's like it's like got a die it's got sharper to monomolecular it's, edge Speci it's meant to it's meant to decapitate zombies <laughs> yeah. Here we go. wing skeletons they're all the way over here You ever hear about, uh, yeah. you ever play Castlevania Judgment? I have not. Is that that Castlevania fighting game? Yep, it's the 3D Castlevania fighting game that was, uh, it was, it was a Wii exclusive. And <laughs> of course it, it was. It used, it used motion controls, and, um, yeah, the, it was, the artist for that game was the mangaka for Death Note. What? And they got the Death Note dude to, uh, to fucking... The artwork. Yeah, That's... all the character designs are done by the guy who did Death Note. So you end up with Simon Belmont looking like he came straight out of, like, Pierce the Veil or something. Looking like he came out of My Chemical Romance. Like a emo punk rock band dude. Despite Simon Belmont the... looking in, uh, it might, in... I liked how Simon Belmont in fucking the Smash Ultimate looked, looked like a fucking barbarian. Yeah, they yeah, because they wanted to base it off of his classic, you know, NES art, and just keep it that way, yeah. which is fine. I personally prefer his Castlevania Chronicles design, which is like his long red hair. Zelrog doesn't like it too much because, again, that's the more that's the Ayami Kojima stuff where he looks more feminine looking. But I think it it makes him look unique because if you look at the whole Belmont lineup. If you if you took Simon Belmont and you placed him right next to say Christopher Belmont, they kind of look similar. And I'm like, I would like a little bit more to make him stand out. So the red hair, the the black fur, the the leather oh, cool. makes him look a little bit more different. I found the so, teleport. I found the I found the teleport. Ah, uh, goody. Yes. And so now, I, now I can shop. But uh, yeah, the fighting game. So. It's okay. As a fighting game, it's fine. It feels like Soul Calibur in a way. Um, my only issue, my only real gripe of the game is 
again, the artwork is it's it's fine, I guess. I wish Ayami Kojima did the artwork, but it's it's not a it's not a deal breaker. But the thing that is a deal breaker is the way they wrote the characters. Oh yeah. So, you played Rondo of Blood, right? Uh, I'm familiar with Rondo of Blood. Yes, that's the one uh, with Richter. Yeah, yeah, I, I know Rondo of Blood. Uh, okay, so do you know the little girl character Maria? Yeah, isn't she? Doesn't she the one who? Isn't she the one who? Uh, she's in Symphony of the Night. Yeah, she was the one who, if you fuck up, you could, she could, you actually have to fight her. I yeah, believe. her. Yeah, yeah, her. So, in Judgment. Her yeah. entire character, and I'm not even exaggerating, her entire character is getting mad at women whose breasts are bigger than hers. Oh my god. I that don't is like her that entire even character. I don't like that even when it's supposed to be like an intended character. Like, it, it, like it's supposed to be like this cute thing where it's like... <laughs> but, like, but... It doesn't... It, it's not the kind of thing where it doesn't really work no matter where you put it. It's, kind, it's played out. No, we know with her though, it's that I'm not even joking. That's her whole character, dude. Like any time, like if you play this or if you go to her story mode, her in like, dude, any female that you come across and you have to fight, her dialogue is just gonna be, Han, breasts are bigger than mine. I'm gonna fight you. I can't let you seduce my bigger brother. Hey, cool. I, I found the shop. Is this where you opened your shop? Yes, yes it is. By the way, that cute young lady over there, she's staring at you. See your friend? Yeah? Oh God, here we go. Here we Whoa. go with the symphony. I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy now. You hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. Alright, what do you got? Uh, another map. I'll take that. How many potions do you got? Uh, I think I just got the one. Might yeah, another. you're gonna want to stock up on potions. That's mainly why he's good. It's just for stocking up on potions. I want to see what uh, weapons he's got. Hammer. Nah. I'm telling you, I I think yeah, like I said, that that uh combat knife you got, that ain't going anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Gladius, scimitar, katana. Uh, so you got armor as well. Could probably get. Oh, war fatigues. I yep. like I like that. I'm gonna get that, and then I'll now get... Soma can be like Hammer. <laughs> yeah, here, here, take some of my combat clothing. All right. I guess I should get rid of some of my uh, some of the weapons I'm not using anymore. Get rid of. <laughs> I kind of want to keep this for sentimental value though, because he he went into it with it. It'd be nice if he just got out with it. So, but yeah, I'll get rid of the base lard. Don't want to get rid of the combat knife. Don't want to get rid of the whip sword. That's I think that you can't get that back. No, once you sell that stuff, you can't get it back. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I'll, I won't sell. Uh, so, yeah, that's right. I got the the fucking Cestus. Because you know yep. you can just you can just close fist quarters. Yeah, it just fisticuffs your 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 way through stuff. All right, war fatigues. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey. Okay. Welcome back, Soma. Hey. What? That man over there. Oh, you mean Hammer? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? Yeah, he's he's uh he was a former army vet, I guess. No, I think he's a decent guy. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening a shop at a castle? He's weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. <laughs> any we any weirder than being sucked into a castle on an eclipse? Yeah, it's... <laughs> he's, at this point, someone's just rolling with it. I've got weird powers, guys open up a weapon shop, I'm in the middle of an eclipse. It's, it's strange. I've killed so you many... Call it, you call it strange? I call it Tuesday. You say he's a good guy, I'll believe you. Yeah. I like how we can't leave. These gates just closed permanently. Yep. Alright, what's up here? Oh! 
Lucky charm. You'll never give me lucky charms. It... Okay. So, your, your luck increases by two, but your defense goes down by one. So that yeah, seems... Take it. Yeah, I, I need all the luck I can get. I'm trapped in a castle. I need I need all the luck I can get. Alright. This game's uh, double jumping is very generous, because you can drop down and you can also just jump while you're falling. Yeah, no fall damage. That's one I love, thing I like is there's no fall damage. I love games that just are like, no, you don't you don't need fall damage. Like I understand why games would want to do it, but I just love a game that doesn't have fall damage. Like Mario Odyssey, it, it doesn't it doesn't want to do fall damage, and I and I'm just like I I'm I am thankful that they just decided to be merciful and just not have fall damage. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my luck's at 20 right now. I hope that uh, that's good. Ow. That's. I'm going to take the left door this time. Oh, that's a that's a pathway. Oh, I don't I don't think I have the right souls for this. Oh, hey, is that another pendant? <laughs> I got two of them now. Yeah, they don't have. So if I remember correctly. There's like evil fish that that want to fucking eat me, but it's fine. I can just. The movement in this game is great, and that's that's funny because most of the remarks that I hear when people talk about these games is that, ooh, these characters move too slow, man. Why do they gotta walk so slow? I mean, compared to, like, something like Sonic the Hedgehog, I guess they move slow. Yeah. It's not like it's, like, fucking Mario or something. For for a game like this, it actually... They actually move pretty decently. Ow. Yeah, I've never really had a problem with how fast they move. And plus, Fine. later on, you can get... You can get a soul that makes you move faster. Like, running hella fast. Yeah. The running, man. And I guess it, it, it moves slower than, like, Metroid. Like, Metroid, uh, yeah. Super Metroid, I was gonna say. Oh, uh... I mean, yeah, Soma's not a... Soma's not a space marine. Uh, Samus was a bounty hunter. If you want space marines, you play Warhammer 40k. No, if you want space marines, you play Doom. Y yeah. Doom. God, rip... Oh, God. Doom Slayer would be at home in Warhammer 40k verse, because he's like, oh, wait, how many demons? Yeah, I'm down. Me, me and Zoron had this discussion. We're kind of at odds with it right now, and it is very confusing. Yeah. I think this is probably the most polarizing choice when it comes to Smash. Who do you think's gonna get in, Master Chief or Doom Slayer? I don't think either of them are gonna get in. I know that uh, there was like a, a person who had who's a uh, YouTube channel who's very reliable. I think Video Game Stories or something. Uh, I I uh, heard about. The first video I watched of them was them talking about uh, the making of Untitled Goose Game and how it was started off as just a project, and then it grew into being so much more. And there was a video entitled "Why Doom Slayer Isn't Going to Be in Smash." Yeah, she's that. And uh, the wild question is, what? What's up? Good. No, sorry about that. Someone had to ask me a question. Oh, that's fine. Happens. Whee! Yeah. Uh, as far as Master Chief, has has Halo ever been on? Has, is Halo on Switch? No, that that is a Microsoft exclusive. Yeah, I don't. Xbox thing. Cool. I got axe armor. Uh, but yeah, the thing with that, um, the reason why people think that either is going to get in. Obviously, Doom Slayer is from Doom. That's an iconic you know, game that has a lot of history, was like the founder of FPS games and whatever. Um, and then you have Master Chief, has a lot of history with Microsoft, and has pretty much been the, like, mascot for Microsoft for years. Probably still is. So people, there's a lot of reason to suspect they could make it into Smash, but I think what people are having the problem with is that since both of those characters are so very similar, especially now, dude, since Doom Eternal came out, 
Doom Slayer is a lot like Master Chief, because now he has an energy sword. Yeah, the Crucible. Yep. But he it's has his. An it's not like now. Master Chief's only Master Chief stole that from from the Covenant. The fucking the fucking uh, Doom Slayer. That's his weapon, the Crucible. Yeah, but people associate the energy sword with Halo, and people are like, oh, well, now Doom Slayer has his own energy sword. So now the real question is, which one? Do you no, you know pick? what? They both ripped off Star Wars. How about that? Yeah, why don't we just put Darth Vader in Smash? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the real, that's the this real is... armored space marine we need in Smash. We get, we need him. He's a space samurai though. He's not a yeah. space marine. <laughs> if you want, if you want evil space marine, that's uh, he's already in a game. It's a uh, Radjack from uh, or whatever his name is from uh, from Killzone. All right, or... I'm in the dance hall. Or they'd put Isaac from Dead Space in there because he was in PlayStation All Stars. Yeah, uh, my favorite. Uh, my fa. Hold on. Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? Oh, I'm. I'm. It's rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you are right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. <laughs> Agent yeah, Jay. Yeah, say hello to. Say hello to Andy. Will Smith. He's gonna neuralize us. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? Listen, does it even matter? We're both trapped in an eclipse in a, in a castle. No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. Oh, funny. I, uh, I heard that Dracula was sealed in 1999. I'm, I, I suppose that's a coincidence. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my past. He's he's bullshitting, isn't he? He's nah, like he's not bullshitting. Yeah, uh, he legitimately does have any. Oh, I see. Well, my name's Soma. Your dark power. Were you born with it? How, how do you know about my dark power? I I didn't show it off. I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? Call me Jay. I am filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I have felt like my memory is returning. Our accident occurred in 1999. Maybe Dracula was involved? I fear you are correct, especially since I have magical powers. <laughs> Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Everybody's so casual about this. It's great. I mean, like, yeah, I guess they have to be casual because, like I said, he's just getting all this stuff thrown at him at once. He's just basically come to terms with it at this point. Yeah. He's already he's been absorbed. He's been killing monsters and absorbing salt for like the past hour now. So I guess it's just come second nature to him. What is even real anymore? <laughs> How he's just able to swing around a lance like like no nope, nobody's. By the way, I'm using it right now. Yeah. Pretty useful. Um. Speaking of exorcisms, uh, this reminds me, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula novel, like, that story of Dracula, is can canonical to Castlevania. Yeah, I figured. So, yeah, like, like, uh, Van Helsing and, like, Quincy Morris and all them, like, all those characters, yeah, all of them are part of Castlevania, which is crazy. God. Oh, man. Ah. Uh. So, in this story, Alucard is Dracula's son, but then you think of Helsing and how Alucard is just Dracula again. He's just taking on a pseudonym. For the fuck of it? I did not know that. I, I haven't even watched Helsing, so... Helsing's great, man. It's it's just... It's just this it's just this crazy badass vampire in, like, a nice, sharply dressed red, red suit, wielding two hand cannons that no human can wield, but he can because he's a fucking vampire, so he's fuck it. And, and, uh, he's wearing these cool sunglasses and shit, and, and he's voiced by Crispin yeah. Freeman, and, and he does a great job uh, with that yeah. role. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's basically, uh, it's basically, uh, the, uh, the matriarch of the Helsing clan, uh, Intre Integra Wing Wingate's Helsing, just has Dracula at her beck and call, and they hunt, like, 
things man was not meant to know. And it's great. It's just Dracula. Crispin Freeman. Crispin Freeman has a couple voices in Castlevania. He plays Dracula when he's younger. Oh, does he? plays he? Hector. Well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, and he also plays... The what? He, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, he sorry, I'm fighting him. Nemesis. And he also... He what? I'm fighting Nemesis. That's I, the, the, the evil sword. Uh, but, um... He also voiced Hector in Curse of Darkness. He was the main character in that one. Ah. Uh, well, I got, got that going again. There's a lot of notable anime voice actors in Castlevania that I've come to realize. Like, you've got um, Richter, like I've already mentioned, I think Bizarro mentioned this, but yeah, Simon Belmont is voiced by Keith Silverstein, who is Kimimaro in Naruto. He's the one with the bone jutsus. Oh, yeah. All right, and later, Richter... And Richter is voiced by David Vincent, who plays Grimjow in Bleach. Oh, he was Grimjow's cool. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Leon Belmont is voiced by Dave Wittenberg, who is famously known as Kakashi from Naruto. Oh, him? All right. Yeah. Wait, hold on. The enemy's name was was Kisikadel. Kisik. Yep. That's the legendary like bird god from Aztec. <laughs> Dracula subverted yeah, him. Yeah. No, there is. <laughs> there is, there's a bunch of enemies like that. You got Cthulhu's, you got, like, you. there's a bunch of enemies in this game that they inspire from, like, ancient gods and stuff. There's a bunch of enemies like that that you'll encounter. Yeah, clearly. Chupacabras, there's cryptids in this game, you'll find them. <laughs> Fight Bigfoot. <laughs> there is Bigfoot. There's yeah. Bigfoot and Don Sorrow. <laughs> so, uh... So, uh, going back to Hollow Knight, that uh, castle Metroidvania slash Souls-like... Um, something that that I didn't like about it was that uh, was the map system, and that and so so here's how the so the map system in this game it's pretty obvious. You go as you go on, you can you can map it out, and you just hit select, and it shows you where you are. They've really convoluted in uh, in uh, Hollow Knight. So how it works in Hollow Knight is that uh, is that you have to you don't have the map uh, by default. If you try to look up a map, it'll just say you have no map for this area. And you can't fill it in yourself. You with me so far? What? Yeah, so you have to buy yeah. a map. And even when you buy the map, it won't tell you where you need to go. You have to equip a certain charm to, like, that'll tell you where you are. So you gotta basically use up a charm slot to have, like, a compass. And even... So it's, so it's kind of like Zelda in a way. Yeah, and even then, even when you have, like, the map, the map's not f full up, filled up. There will be some yeah. places which aren't available, and even if you go to the places that aren't available, you won't fill them in unless you buy a quill. That that sounds very I, unfriendly for a Metroidvania is, game. It is. Yeah, you gotta buy all this shit to get a working map system, and and even then, you gotta find like the map maker it, randomly in like each section of the of the uh, of the world. It's fucking ghost dancers. Wow. It's great. It, it is like one of the most obtuse fucking map systems. I had I had to respect the balls of them just to just to make a map system that unfriendly for the user because they were really trying to do something. I mean, some people might get really pissed off at it. The game otherwise is great. The combat system in Hollow Knight is uh is very now very good. Now there's an equal side of that. Now Castlevania has a game that suffers one of its own sins. Oh yeah. And it was Circle of the Moon. In that game, people consider that game to be arguably the hardest Metroidvania in the series. Oh yeah. Because of one thing. That's the only game in the series, like the only Metroidvania in the series, that doesn't have a shop. No shop? No shop. That means no selling stuff, no easy way of getting uh, items. And that means no easy way of getting potions. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, so that, that sounds count like. Count that with the fact. Count that with the fact that there is uh, the save rooms are pretty scarce. Uh, enemies can be very difficult to get past. And uh, yeah, you're going to be dying looking for save rooms constantly. Yeah, and, and the system in that game was the card system, right? Yeah, the, there was a card system, and I think that was interesting because you would combine cards, and then you would get these awesome whip abilities. You could get a flame whip, a thorn whip, 
all different kinds of stuff. Or you could turn into a skeleton and die or in one a hit. Sword. You could turn into a sword too. Yeah. Was it the, what was the villain? The like the one of the main villains in that game was actually Camilla, who that was her first appearance since uh, since I want to say Rondo of Blood. Uh, or that was her only of... appearance. Um, oh. Carmella, Carmella. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm struggling. I think it's Carmella shows up. I believe in. Yeah, it is Rondo Blood. Okay, I was I was trusting. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, Rondo Blood. Yeah. So yeah, she is one of the main villains in that game. Vampire and... Lady. Yep. Who simps over Dracula? Yep. She's. Fawns yeah, Dracula over Dracula. Really just... Care about her that much. She, Dracula doesn't. He never even. Yeah, Dracula only cares about. He's just kind of. He's just kind of sitting in his castle, going, "My he's wife." He's loyal, man. He's loyal, man. But uh, but yeah, Circle of the Moon. This is this is another trope in Castlevania. Yeah. A joke that I like to make is that when you go to Castlevania, make sure not to bring your best friend with you, because typically what happens is you got you get separated. And then your friend turns evil and betrays you at the end. That's what always happens. Uh, well, it's the and power. Circle the, circle the moon. It happens because you're with. Uh, it's like it was uh, you, your uh, your master, and your master's son. Yeah, and he gets all jealous of you throughout the course of the game. He's yeah. like, "Why wasn't I the one that inherited the whip?" And he gets jealous and starts t trying to fight you. And then in Harmony of Dissonance, your best friend comes with you. But with him, it's different. He actually gets possessed by the castle, and he does turn evil. It's Ooh. not like a jealousy thing, as is with Circle of the Moon. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, don't bring your friend with you. Don't do that, because then you get separated, and then they turn evil, and then they betray you. Okay, if I if I ever have to go inside a, inside an evil castle, I'll tell I'll tell Zolrog and you just to just to not just, not just go stay home. Or unless you know what, in that case. I'll be the evil friend because then you'll come looking for me and something will have happened to me. Yeah, that's how that'll and happen. And then you're and then you're the new master of the castle, just like Richter was in something tonight. You'll be the new master of the castle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I hear shit being talked about Doom Slayer. Uh, you're wrong. You're mistaken, Zelrog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were talking about Doom Slayer. With we're talking about how. I... I heard that something about how he's probably not going to get in an ultimate, despite how much I want him in. That would have been hilarious because Bayonetta and uh, Joker would have been the only one, only R-rated games or sorry, M-rated games. Not that would have been in. Uh... Shit, I hope there's a save room nearby. I really. Okay. Is now, that, now the that funny thing with him though. Now, the thing with this, no, is, and nobody really brings this up, is that he was supposed to be in Mortal Kombat 11 a while back. Wait, who was? was a... Doom Slayer? Doom Slayer, yeah. Oh man, why did he not make the cut? Okay, we don't know why it happened, but I remember when it was making rounds on the internet. It was when, like, the first season pass was coming out, and then trailers were everywhere. There was two things happened, okay? The trailer came out, and in this trailer, at the very end, you hear this thing say, Oh, no, 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 it was a Doom trailer. It was a Doom trailer, okay? Yeah. The Doom trailer. In that trailer, at the end of it, you hit the screen goes black, and then you hear the Mortal Kombat announcer go, Round one, fight. Oh. And it's like, why did he say that? Why did he say that? That doesn't even happen in Doom Eternal either. That never happens. And then, here's the second part, okay? Yeah. In the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer you hear chainsaw noises. Doom Slayer uses a chainsaw, but you know who else uses a chainsaw? Um, I, I, Ash Williams. Ash Williams from Evil Dead. Yeah. So th this is where the other thing came in. People were suspecting that it was going to be Ash Williams, but then he was deconfirmed. He said that he wasn't going to be in Mortal Kombat 11, so then people automatically jumped to, okay, so it has to be Doom Slayer then. It but has it to be Doom Slayer because the Doom trailer had it like, both of the trailers made it seem like Doom Slayer was going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. All the evidence was pointing towards it, but it never happened. Instead, we Instead got we Joker. Instead, we got Joker. Yep, we got Joker. <laughs> and then Joker is like, that's our make good, because we happen to own the fucking property anyway. Injustice, yeah. yeah. Just, they, yeah, but, yeah, 
for a time, la, 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 la. Slayer was supposed to be Mortal Kombat 11, which I think would have been more fitting. Like, again, people say, yeah, he could be in Smash, but in my personal opinion, most of the appeal for Doom Slayer comes from the fact of how fucking cool he is. Most of the most of the attraction to him is because he rips and tears, and how gruesome it is. Right? I don't remember these bosses and, being so easy. I like, think I'm it's just, because I'm, yeah. I uh, I think they're easy just because of like your stats, maybe the equipment you got on, but um. Uh, but uh, cool. I'm not saying I'm opposed to him being a smash, but I'm saying. A lot of his, like, a lot of his value is gonna be gone because he's just gonna be, he's just gonna be a platforming shooter. He's just gonna be a guy that shoots guns and platforms. He, he oh, won't man. have a lot of his, like, unless they make him, like, a heavyweight, like, kind of like a heavyweight where he, most of his moves are slow or something like that and they're heavy hitting, then maybe. It's just maybe. All, all his attacks are just gonna be ranged weapons. His, yeah, his final smash much. is going to be the BFG 9000. BF yeah. Which is why I said I prefer Master Chief to get him, because even though they're pretty much the same character, in my opinion, because of their moveset, it's like, he does, like, Master Chief, you don't think of blood and gold when I think Master Chief. I just think of, like, awesome weapons, and, you know, he's a space marine and all that other shit. What are you and doing in I Smash think... Ultimate, sir, finishing the fight? Yeah. Oh, wow, but... I got Wooden Golem. I think he just would have been more fit for Mortal Kombat because that game is begging for him. That game is built for him. Yeah, <laughs> he, he just he would be lip, he would be ripping limbs off of everybody. Think yeah. of the fatalities, man. Yeah, but he wouldn't. The problem is, is that he wouldn't have any like real dialogue because Doom Slayer is just quiet as fuck. And yeah. and he, and I think that's why they maybe didn't want to do it because because a big thing that they were doing with the. With uh, Nether Realm Studios was uh, the uh, the intro dialogues, which I yeah. I enjoy. I enjoy it when he characters... wouldn't even he wouldn't say too much. He probably just most of his intro dialogue would just be him cocking a shotgun, and that's it. Yeah, and the people just reacting, going, "Huh, you're a friendly one, aren't you?" <laughs> he only speaks in Doom Eternal, and even then, that's like a that was like flashbacks. Yeah, stuff, where he's just that's like, very brief. Guts. RIP AND TEAR! I like- No, I, it, it's very confusing. It's, it's very polarizing to see which one's gonna happen. Maybe that- maybe neither of them will get in. Maybe that probably be neither of them are gonna get in. I've- I've accepted that, that probably... As cool as it would be, we're not gonna see Doom Slayer. I got more gym clothes. <laughs> Why are they holding gym clothes?! Is Dra Dracula you know, working you know, out? Dracula, dude, Dracula's got to get them gains, man. Otherwise, he's just sitting on his throat, get like, them doing up. nothing. He's gonna, he's gonna get muscle atrophy. I'm just hella. picturing, just I'm just there all day. I'm just picturing Dracula in like the gym, just like being a gym bully, just <laughs> thumping weights, and every and all the other gym people are like, are like, yeah, man, that's Dracula. What a fucking bitch, man. He, can't, he only works out at night. <laughs> Is he affected by the sun, or is or is he transcendent? Yeah, he is. Okay. Does it does it outright kill him, or is he just? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Is that how they killed it him happens. in 1999? They just lured him out into the sun, and then he just was like, "Oh no!" Ah. No, no, no. What happened was again, it's 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 kind of brief, I guess. They covered a little bit. Yeah. The way they did it was because. Julius killed him, but the way they ended his regeneration cycle was because they sealed his castle inside the eclipse. Okay. It was a ritual that they did. It was so, like some kind of, yeah. So Castlevania is, is so, I have to fucking wait or skeleton. I love this game. This game's got yeah, like a lot of funny, like creature designs. Yeah, it's it's wacky. There's wacky weapons, wacky enemies. It's, that's, Castlevania has a little bit of beef in it. I, I like it. It's just serious enough. Uh, yeah. What was I gonna say? Uh, oh, shit. Something about Castlevania. And it's regeneration stuff. With so Dracula. so so Castlevania itself is Dracula's phylactery, in a sense. Yeah. It's just yeah. like the, you'll you'll find out at the end of this game that like all of Dracula's power. Okay, so how this works? Dracula yeah. is essentially like a host. Uh, Castlevania's power, okay? Uh, the main, the true villain behind it all 
is chaos. Yeah. In other words, the demonic force that's behind the castle. And Dracula was simply like the, um, kind of like the conductor for it. Kind of like just the means in which it was channeled. He was just kind of like the, uh, he, he, he kind of just manipulated and controlled power. That's basically all it is. He controls all the But all right. without the castle, he cannot regenerate because that's where all this power comes from, is that castle. I, I understand. So by sealing the castle into Eclipse, they end his regenerations. Unfortunately, they didn't do it enough because the castle... Because then the Eclipse happened again, and... The seal had a deadline. Yeah, the castle's still there. That's why they're going there, because the castle's there, and then a bunch of people found out about it, and now they're trying to, you yeah, know, tear the towers. That's what's going on. Because so it's like, hey, it's up to... for grabs. Yep, there's cults out there trying to get the power, trying to become the new Dracula, and that's what's going on right now. Yep. Oh, man. Speaking of uh, Dracula, did, did you, you remember that one uh, uh, Harry Potter fanfic, My Immortal, right? I think... It was brought up. Yeah, so, uh, so everybody was renamed, like, into, like, more quote unquote gothic, uh, names, and, uh, I gotta redo this. I really want that, that potion. Uh, and, uh, someone, I think it was Ron, was supposed to be renamed to Dracula, but the author misspelled it and instead called it Dracola. What the f Dra Dracula. <laughs> so then I'm thinking, yeah, that's Dracula's uh, blood-based uh, cola substitute. Dracola. Oh my god. <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, bleh, I have some Dracola! Of course, uh, Dracula in Castlevania, he doesn't sound like that. He sounds just yeah. more baritone. Sounds American. They all sound American. Yeah, of course. That's that's a, that's one of the things that I like uh, Lords of Shadow about, even though it's a spin-off series. Lords of Shadow gave all of its characters like this Romanian accent, and it made it feel sort of authentic because it all takes place in like Romania. Is so it? they all have, yeah, I, they I all have wanna... an accent. Yeah, go on. Sorry, I'm. I'm they all have an accent that fits the location that they're in. So it, it's not like oh. These guys just come in, they all live in Europe, and these guys all have American accents. So no, they, they all have, like, these Romanian-type accents that fit the location of their- which I thought was pretty neat touch. I just realized something. We're supposed to be in the middle of an eclipse, right? So yeah. did they just seal the castle, or did they seal the castle and the land around it? Yeah, they sealed the castle with, like, the foundation that was underneath it, yeah. Oh, just the cat. So where are all these fucking trees coming from? Yeah, well, no, that's that's what I'm saying. It's they they got a little bit of the land around. Okay, so the trees just happen to be sealed as well, and and yep. okay, that that makes sense. I think I think the reason why they're there is because there is an underground segment. Is because that's where all the underground stuff is. Okay. All right, I can sling a hot curry now. I'm gonna do that shit. <laughs> and that. Slinging hot curry is how you would summon the Bigfoot in Dawn of Sorrow. Ah. Uh. You would you would go outside and then you would just throw hot curry on the ground and then would summon the Bigfoot. I like how Soma Cruz is like, wait, I can do what? I can summon curry at will. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Castlevania, where you can steal souls from monsters and one of the souls allows you to just infinitely spawn curry. Yeah, and it, it's apparently holy curry. You it, and. Soma, Soma has the ability to end world hunger right now. <laughs> as well, as long as his mana reserves last, obviously. Yeah, oh, that's useful. You Look at that shit. Mana. All right, I think the bot. I think I gotta. I, I know where I gotta go. I gotta save first, though. Yeah, yeah. Me playing this game before, I think. Uh, might, might have uh, ruined the streaming experience for a lot of people, but I don't care. This game, this game's, this game's really fun. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. Is that a famous picture, or is that uh, invented for the game? I think that's just for the game because that, that's actually the game over screen. Oh okay, so all right. All right. 
So, uh... Has there ever been any, uh, media where Dracula was just an outright good guy? Like your friendly neighborhood vampire type? And I'm not talking about Lords I of Shadow 2. That, that's, uh... That's, uh, a different beast altogether. Are we just talking, like, in general? Yeah, I'm trying to think, because I don't... I, I think it was... Dracula Untold comes to mind, because in that movie, he was actually more of a good guy turned into a bad guy. Yeah. He was more sympathetic in that movie. So, technically, I would say yes, in that movie, he was more of a good guy. Oh, I'm in the inner quarters. I have to fight. Hi. Ah! Ninja Maid! Have some curry! Curse for own. Okay. Fucking ninja maid. It's just- it's not even just like an evil maid, it's just a fucking- uh, It's not a demon, it's just a maid that happens to know ninjutsu. See that shit? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's so crazy. High mind up. Oh, oh is this a- that's stat a mana. Up potion? Yep, that's a mana. Oh. Okay, it restores MP. Alright. Kinda just wandering. I I haven't explored that center area yet. I feel like I ought to at some point. I still haven't bothered watching any of the animes that Zelrog has been recommending me, like Yu Yu Hakusho. I haven't Yu Yu Hakusho is great. Like I, I haven't gotten an opportunity to watch any anime yet because I can't really find any reliable like, streaming services to do it. Yeah. I, I can hook you up. I, I know I know a few. Watch anime online.to stuff like that. There's web browsers that uh, allow you to just uh, ignore uh, ads. I use one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Forgot about this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I can't go there yet. <laughs> I I just wanna I just wanna stop and uh, and and stress that um, that Castlevania has managed to attract the fucking like white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland and turned it over to its side. Yep. That and that, uh, this, I don't know if it's the don't fuck don't with the gamer. Don't fuck with this castle. No, I think it's the next game. Oh no, it's the it's the next game where you fight Zephyr, Mr. Mr. Jojo. Wait, hold on. He has the ability he has the ability to stop time and just How does this room work? I forget how this cause this room Well you talk are you talking about the uh the white rabbit one? No, not the white rabbit one. I know I know how to get through that. I'm just wondering how this room works. Look at it real quick. Because you gotta to catch up on this room. You gotta sit down somewhere. Is there a way you could just sit down on this chair or I feel like there is. I'll get back to it. I'm gonna continue upward. Oh no, that room has no purpose. Sometimes rooms just Oh. There are some rooms in Castlevania that really just serve no purpose, and they're they're, they're just there to be there. It's Set weird. decoration. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm at the end of Inner Sanction. Let's uh, let's go this way. See what's here. Oh, save room. Cool. Yeah, you gotta have a certain soul to uh, to bypass <laughs> the White Rabbit. I think you gotta have. Yep. Like, a you gotta get time. that one that stops time. Yep. Because I guess the White Rabbit can rewind time. Yep. Like a fucking asshole. Alright, boss number five. Oh, it's this one! This one's great! The, it's the Headhunter, head yes. Uh, yep. <laughs> Stay back! Stay back! Oh, shit. Uh, nope. Oh, I don't have to hit it yeah, head, I can just poke him. Yeah, you just hit No, that's that's Dracula is the one you gotta worry about hitting in the head like. Yeah. Cause the only way you can stop Dracula is to remove the head or destroy the brain. Damn it. 
This might be the first boss to kill me. This. Sorry, go on. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn. I found out by watching, uh, uh, James Rawl posted a video. Yeah. In which he, he essentially reviewed almost all of the film adaptations of Dracula. Oh, yeah. I'm astounded. He, he, and he wanted to figure out which movie was most faithful to the novel. And yeah. one thing that baffles me. So, in the novel, Dracula is killed by, uh, decapitation by a hatchet, okay? Yeah. And there's only one movie that does that. Out of all of them, there's only one movie that actually does it that one. I forgot which one it was, but yeah, there was only one movie out of all the Dracula movies that actually kill off Dracula to be faithful to the novel. Yeah, and uh, which movie was that? I, I, I forgot which one it was. I forgot. Alright, now I gotta fight Dragon Head Hunter. Oh, sorry, Lizard Head Hunter, not Dragon. This guy's kind of a dick. A gun, a gun, my kingdom for a gun. I just can't believe it took me this long to uh, get some Castlevania on this channel. <laughs> nah, I, was... I mean, technically, like Zorok pointed out, technically, there was a stream where you guys played, like, Castlevania on the NES for like, Yeah, two minutes. players, one controller. Yeah, that was, that was but that didn't work out so well. There was, like, a, there was, like an error with the audio or something that yeah. got cut short. That was, during but... our, that was during our bad mic years. Yeah, but... Finally happened. It, it's it's a yeah. running joke. With I enjoy with I enjoy movie. Metroidvanias because it allows. I just it, there's just a lot of exploration, and I I wanted to play more Metroidvanias, but that's not really Zelda's jam. And you you enjoy yeah. them, so so if you don't if you don't mind me I wish being the co-pilot for just Castlevania, you want to do other uh, Metroidvanias that I can show off. I'd be cool with it. Yeah. I, I wish he would get into it. Like, the, I don't know how to explain it, man. Like, Metroidvanias are just... There's something about... It's kind of like detective work, man. And it's, it's for the same reason that I like Resident Evil. Because it's like, oh, I can't go this way. There must be another way to go. And then you find a piece of the puzzle, and you're like, oh, now I can... Yeah, it's great. It's just like, hey, this is where you but go next. But on the other hand, on the other hand, though, I do understand why he doesn't like it because there is a lot of backtracking, and backtracking can get annoying in some aspects. Yeah. So I do understand where he is coming from that, but I just wish he would lighten up and just play some Metroidvanias, and then he would just he would just come to accept it. It's not gonna happen. I, I I've known Zelrog for a long time. He... I know. It's been two years. It's, it's it's a running joke within within the channel that it, it's just not gonna happen. I was lucky to get him to stream with Meta Venison, and that yeah. was a one-off stream. All right. So that's uh oh, I can go up from here. Fuck, I missed that. Hey, we're on the roof. Oh, here night or this night? Sorry. Shit, this fucking. There we go. Valkyrie is actually more annoying than dangerous. Oh no! Sorry, it hit me with the sword finally. Yeah, those guys are annoying. So I prefer long weapons. What? The pur What's this purpose? <laughs> it's so weird. Curly. Seriously. Small seasoned curly. Okay. Come on, go down. This, amazingly enough, is my strongest attack. My strongest ranged attack. So, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if you pay attention to it too much, but... You, you know, uh... You 
do you know who Chris Ayers is, right? Christopher Ayers? Uh, I think I'm familiar. Christopher Ayers is a voice actor, right? Yeah, voice actor for Frieza. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's, it's nothing really happened well yet, but my whole thing is that recently, within like the past year or so, um, Christopher Ayers has been coming down with like severe like lung problems. Oh, I've heard. Okay, so, yeah, I've heard that. So he's had to have like obviously he's had to get new stand-ins to replace him for his voice work. So he has an understudy whose name is Damon Mills. Okay. Yeah. So Damon Mills has been on Dragon Ball Super for a little bit. Yeah. He's done. He's done some of the games like Dragon Ball Fighters, Kakarot recently. So. My thing with him, like, Christopher Ayers is the definitive Frieza for me. I, I just like the way his voice sounds. He is the perfect uh, Frieza for me. So, I try to give Damon Mills a shot because he's an understudy. He's trying to sound like Christopher Ayers. So, I, I started listening to some of his voices, his lines, in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. That's like his most recent stuff. And he's been doing this for like two years. Now, I don't want to come off high and mighty or anything, but I think, me personally, I feel like I could do a better Frieza than Damon Mills. <laughs> you know what's funny is that, uh, is that for me, my favorite Frieza is, uh, is Linda Young. Yeah, that's Zorog's too. He likes yeah. Linda Young. I love, because... I, th I think it's, yeah, Christopher Ayers mainly came in around 2010 when Dragon Ball Z Kai came around, so he's more recent, so I understand it. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Linda Young was also a character in uh, in <clears throat> Yu Yu uh, Genkai, when you begin watching it. Right, I gotta yeah. make sure I survive. Okay, good. Save room is just to the left. But the thing with Damon Mills, though, is that whenever... Damon Mills is good when he's talking, for the most part. He's good at Frieza when he's doing his talking and most of the dialogue. But the second he starts yelling and starts screaming... That's how you can tell it's really not Christopher Ayers anymore. And it's totally not him. Because when he starts screaming and yelling, he needs to practice. He's got to practice. He sounds like a... When he starts yelling and screaming, he just doesn't sound right. And <laughs> he needs to practice. He needs to give us some practice. He's good at the talking. I'm not going to I'm not gonna trash talk him when it comes to that. He's good at talking. But he needs to practice he's, holding he's got... the voice while yelling. Got it. He needs to practice the voice when he's yelling and screaming, because he, he's not doing too hot when he does that. By the way, I've, I've got uh, her, her thing, I think it's called. The Poison Sword. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good one. Hunting. Hunting, yeah. All these magical swords and, and shit that Dracula just has lying around. Oh, that's, uh, that's the rabbit room, I can't go there. So I got <laughs> Undine, which allows me to walk on water, so... Yep, now you oh. can... I'm gonna go down. Go down to that one area. Shit, I might be able to complete this game. I might be able to speedrun this game. <laughs> no, not really. I think there's like a, a tech... What? Throws Katanas? <laughs> that is, that's, I forget, I'm, there's so much I'm forgetting about this game. That, like... I, oh, God. I, I want to throw some Katanas. I mean, those aren't katanas, those are sabers, but fuck it. <laughs> Who's keeping track anymore? We're stuck in a castle. Who's keeping track? <laughs> throw curry, now you can throw katanas. Just... just... Just throw everything. Someone's good at throwing stuff. What, what do you have all those fucking uh, katanas for? You use like a hundred of them at once? Nah, I throw them, motherfucker. Cool, I got a, I got a good lo loadout. Alright, uh, so yeah, so, uh, Hollow Knight's, uh, Hollow Knight's pretty interesting, if, uh, if you ever wanna, so there's that, there's, uh, I don't know if you played Axiom Verge? Yeah, I played Axiom Verge. Axiom Verge is fun. I like, I like how it was doing, people were, like, bitching about it for a while because it's like, it, it's trying to be, like, Metroid, and then, like, no fucking shit! Yeah. A battle axe! I got a battle axe! I think- I don't think it's very good, though. Oh, it is, but it... Eh. It swing speed's a bit. I can't really follow up really quickly. I'm just gonna use 
hurting. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed its glitchy aesthetics. I like the fact that, that it wasn't just some dude in power armor, it was just a dude in a fucking lab coat, like Gordon Freeman. I am on a roll right now! Holy shit. They're making progress. Collect souls to increase... Oh! Headhunter is really good! The Headhunter soul. It increases yep. all stats, but you gotta collect more souls for them to matter. <laughs> Can't wait for that shit. Uh, hmm. I got an idea. I'm gonna have Minotaur on, and I'm going to uh, equip. Yeah. All right, it's equipped. All right. But yeah, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's uh, fun because. Uh, what else uh, was there? Uh, yeah, Axiom Verge. Uh, there's also. Uh... Ah, shit. What was it called? Blasphemous. So yeah, blasphemous yeah, and blasphemous. and uh, the messenger's not not a Metroidvania. It's a it's a more of a side-scrolling platformer, but it's still pretty good. I hear a lot. That's that's another thing too. Like nowadays, I feel like the term Metroidvania gets thrown around too much, just for like. Any 2D side-scrolling game, people would just be like, oh, it's a Metroidvania. No, it's not. <laughs> well, Metroidvania is very specific. It's about exploration, collecting items <laughs> to increase progress. And maybe there's yeah. leveling, maybe not. The whole, like, the whole reason, the whole reason the term even came about was because of Symphony of the Night, because it took elements from Super Metroid and put it in a Castlevania game. And what do you have in Super Metroid? A uh, massive map, exploration, save rooms, abilities that you have to get, things of that nature. It's very specific. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, it's a Metroidvania because it's a 2D side-scrolling game and you're just exploring. No, no, no. Yeah, no. There's I, a bit more layers Hollow, that. Hollow Knight is totally a Metroidvania because uh, in Hollow Knight you are exploring. You do gain abilities that you have to use to uh, unlock different areas. And, and yeah, stuff like that. But it also yeah. is Souls-like because it has... Uh, it has death. Rather than you die and then it's game over, death is integrated into the gameplay and you have to go and collect your, uh... Death has a, pe has a penalty that goes until you, like, find your uh, shade and beat it, allowing you to, uh, to, like, absolve yourself of your, of, like, your guilt. And then you, uh... Yeah. I think, I think the punishment for dying in Hollow Knight is you lose all your cash and, uh, and your mana gets slashed by, like, a third. Man. Yeah. Which, you know, it's inconvenient. No, I don't want to go through this way, I don't think. No, I do! No, I no I don't. It's left. Left is what I need to do. And actually, I realize now that I have to uh I have to equip uh Undine. But recently I uh I got episode one racer on my PS4 and uh I 100 percent that game recently, and oh. Zarog doesn't seem too proud about that because. But I remember watching the stream. You guys did on May the Fourth. You guys did that stream. Uh, yeah, the he struggled on a specific level, and I told him I said, uh, "What you got to do?" When I found out that there's like this meta to the game, oh, you just kind of have to focus more on. I got another skeleton. Cool. On. Uh oh. Hold on. I think my internet just went out. For those of you watching at home, my internet just suddenly went to the red. <laughs> That's not good. Say what happened there? Uh, my internet dipped for a second. Fortunately, yeah, my recording's I, unaffected. I saw that. Yeah. Well, I'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> but, uh... What were you saying? The meta? But I was saying, uh, yeah, the meta of the game is that you just have to focus on, like, you really only have to focus on three attributes of your vehicle, and that's, I think it's top speed, turning, and cooling. The reason why you have to do that is because, one, turning's really good because there's a lot of, like, you know, sharp turns and coolers, but I think one thing that he was missing out on was the boosting, was because he was boosting ever so, like, rarely. But if you turn the cooling up, 
if you if you turn up that cooling, you can abuse the hell out of your boost. You can boost constantly. <laughs> so I told him, I said, oh, you just have to pick the right character. And he had the right character. He had Bullseye pick. He had the right character. But he just needed to focus on the right stats. And he just needed to focus on, like, when to boost, when to when to drift. There's a drift in that game, too. And I didn't even know if he realized that. But there's I, a drift. I, how do you, drifting on a hover vehicle is, is like, kind of yeah, counterintuitive. It, it's, it's, it's tricky. But I got it down. If you can get it down, you can make that game your bitch, dude. Uh -oh. You can make that game Cockatrice! Oh no! Stone. Wait, hold on. Oh, you can do a sliding kick. That's a combat maneuver. I forgot about that. Yeah, just like in Smash! Oh yeah. And in some and in, uh, some Soul Calibur games, you run and you hit kick, you can just kind of slide yeah. and knock people off the ledge. Oh my god, these fucking chickens are wrecking my shit. So, uh... Yeah. So who do you think... So who could solo Dracula, you think? Who, who not? What non-Castlevania character could probably kill Dracula? Oh, right off the bat. Fucking any, stone! Any... Any... It's... You know what? I think, right off the bat, I can tell you that any Dragon Ball character can do it. Yeah, because it kill him any, permanently, any though. Just, it. like, fucking freeze and kills him, but he's like, I'll be in my castle if you need me. Oh, I'll be waiting. Then um, again, they could just blow up the castle. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot, that could happen. Fucking imps. Let's see. Oh, cool. Oops. I think it's, you know, I think it's fairly easy to kill Dracula, oh. kinda, because uh -oh. I don't want to do that. Like, I think it's really easy to kill... Actually, no. No. It's not easy to kill Dracula, because uh, that's right. Dracula can only be killed... This is, this, is, this is the thing that most people don't realize. Dracula can only be killed by the vampire killer and denominations of his own power. Shit. I, uh... I accidentally, uh... Hit load state. And now my game is uh, it, the overlay just is permanently like. Okay, well I have. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. I I don't want to accidentally load state and lose all my save data, so I'm going to reset. It's still up. Okay, I'm gonna close the thing and I'm going to reload the whole thing. <laughs> I hit the. Don't want to risk that. Okay. Come on. You can do it. Alright. It's up again. Load ROM. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to... Now I'm going to... Reset the... Edit. Edit properties. Where the fuck is it? Capture specific window. It... It doesn't wanna... What? But it was working before! <laughs> this is funny. Give me a second. There we go. I fixed it. All right. Let's. All right. Yes, I, I've seen that story before. All right. Quick load. State one. There we go. I'm back. That. Okay. So the triggers. Uh, apparently, one of them's keyed to save state. One of them's keyed to low state. Load state. So I gotta be really careful. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... <clears throat> but, yeah. Uh, Dracula can only be killed by the Vampire Killer Whip and denominations of his own power. So, like, Alucard, because he is the son of Dracula. 
and things of that nature. So, so a person with like, uh, with like a really powerful. I'm fighting the. I'm fighting the devil. All right, there we go. That's cursed, right, Skull Necklace? I believe so. Okay, I'm not gonna equip it then. Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. This is where the map gets kind of confusing. Yep. Also, I haven't visited my girlfriend in quite some time. I wonder how she, what she's thinking of this situation. Hey, Soma, you haven't checked in with me in quite a while. I'm... And now, Hammer's trying to put the hits on me. Please make him go away. He's creepy. What, you don't like Chris Daughtry? <laughs> oh, man. Can't... All right, so... Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. This area is a, the Hanging Gardens are a fucking maze. Yep. It's that maze area where you gotta go back and forth sometimes. Oh. Oh, shit. Um. Well, I'm gonna have a good meal. <laughs> Tasty meat. There we go. Should probably go back to Hammer and get some potions soon. How's my, how's my gold doing? Yeah, I got a lot. I should probably head back there someday. When I say someday, I mean probably someday soon. Some, and by and by someday soon, you probably mean like right now. If I can find this uh, warp point, I can. It'd be that'd be nice. Oh yeah, uh, something Hollow Knight got right is uh, plenty of warp points, and the warp point. E so I mentioned that uh, Hollow Knight is basically if uh, Bugs Life met Dark Souls, everybody in the game is an insect, right? And uh, you meet a character called the Last Stag. Who acts as like the the transportation, and he's like he gives you information on the various districts you go from if you talk to him, in like a non warp uh, in like a non traveling con uh, context. He's like, oh, yes, okay. I remember this area. This is where people used to come to do this sort of thing, and I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, everybody kind of speaks si simlish. If that yeah. makes any sense, just like Hashan Makuzu of Dark Maluja. It's pretty cool. Ah, well, shit. I'm I'm going to be lost here. I don't. I forget what the. Oh hey, somewhere new. Oh god. Yeah, I think it really just amounts to walking back and forth between which rooms just to, just until you find a new room that you haven't been in yet. What are you, are you saying? You think I'm overthinking it? That's not. That wouldn't be the first time that happened. All right, down. Oh no! It's, it's superhero. <laughs> it's superhero skeleton. It's a fucking fighting papyrus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You saw that you saw, you saw that video I posted on Discord, right? I didn't get to look at it. Oh, you, you should watch it. It's it's great. It's Ryan Gosling talking about. It. I won't spoil it, but uh, it has to do with the word papyrus. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, well, the something papyrus. I won't I won't spoil it. What the? That reminds me. Of Hello. So, so yesterday. The Zorog posted this video uh -huh. of uh, Big Chungus just twerking, right? So, <laughs> Big Chungus. What you mean? You yeah. mean rabbit? The the, the... Yeah, no. Yeah, the, the yeah. Oh man. Big... So, so that reminds me. Uh, there is a video out there of Will Ferrell. Okay, Will Ferrell. Yeah. And he's on a news station, and they ask him. What do you think is a nickname that people call you? Like, what is a nickname that you live by? So, Will Ferrell looks at the camera and literally says, Uh, I think people will call me Big Chungus. So, like, he knows what the meme is. Would they call him Big Chungus, though? I don't know. I don't know. I think he just... I think he just knew what the meme was, and he just looked right at the camera as he said that, so I think he knows what he was talking about. <laughs> Big Chungus. 
Oh man, that, that sounds like like a crappy boss. Just you fight big chungus and it's just this giant fat ass rabbit. Oh, something I learned about rabbits is apparently they're really really scared of ferrets. Or like weasels? Huh. Something. And apparently weasels do they like they they take advantage of this because rabbits are so fast they try to make it so that they don't chase rabbits. So what they do is that is that they they perform like some kind of weird like war dance. This weasel war dance. And they just flail about and the rabbits are just frozen in terror and then after like a few minutes they just die of a heart attack. What I'm not hell? making this up. This actually is something that happens and <laughs> they just dance until until their prey just dies. Oh hey, poison's not effective against wood. What the? F huh? I should try fire. Do I have a fire attack? Uh oh. I got- I got hot curry. Let's try that shit! <laughs> 12 damage! I did it! Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Cash. Heart. Heart. Alright. Uh... Hey, a werewolf. Oh, what the f- Wait, where in myth can it say that werewolves can summon fire? I didn't know that that was a thing that werewolves could do. It's, it's gotta be somewhere. There's gotta be some kind of mythos out there that lets them do it. Werewolves that can just punch- I feels like some, something out of, like, fucking uh, World of Darkness. Speaking of werewolves, and yeah. uh, um... This is interesting. So back in, I, was, I think it was, yeah, high school. So back in high school, uh, I had a classmate, right? Uh, yeah. I'm not her girl's name, though, but I had a classmate. Now, keep in mind, since I'm autistic, this was a special ed classroom. So yeah. I saw a lot of uh, colorful people in there. So there was one guy, and he suffered from lycanthropy. You know what that is? He's, uh, he's hairy all over. No, no, no. Oh. Lycanthropy is a symptom where, or rather a disorder, where someone believes, they firmly believe that they are a were- Oh, I heard of that. That's a, I heard of something similar, but for a zomb a zombies, I'm gonna fucking yeah. die. I need to, so, I need to get, I need to get to a safe point. So this guy, every, every Shit. day, anytime that you would interact with him, anytime you'd have a conversation with him, he would always, you know, brag about his royal wolf lineage and how he's of some, like, royalty and how his uncle is, like, the king of werewolves and how, like, he was absolutely dead set on the fact that he was a werewolf and that he could transform anytime he wanted and that you should never badmouth them because he would make sure that he notified all the and that he would make sure that you would learn. But no, he was, he was convinced that he was a werewolf yeah, it was interesting to fake. have a class with the dude. Uh, fake it till you make it? <laughs> I, I, I... Like, like I've been studying chaos magic, and a big tenet of that is, uh, is that you, is that, uh, to advance your, uh, your in intent, you, uh, you follow, like, a, like, ritual pattern for as long as you feel like it would suit you, and if it doesn't suit you anymore, you just, uh, you just go, okay, I'm not going to do this pattern anymore. And, uh... Yeah. Uh-oh. I only have 26 hit points left. And I need to You don't to have get... any healing? I... No. Uh, you don't have any... What the f no food? Wait! What? <sighs> well, that's safe state, sure. Okay, so triangle is safe state. Square is save load. Got it. <laughs> that's not the triggers. Okay. Oh, hey! It's Graham, it's Graham Jones. Will you heal me? So we meet again. <laughs> that's, the, that's the last thing he's gonna do. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're unscathed. Good to see you too. Uh, I got something I want to ask you. 
Are, are you evil? So you figured me out! Pulls out a gun, shoots him. Sure, go ahead. Someone told me that you are going to inherit Dracula's powers. I take it that lady from the church told you, didn't she? It's not true, is it? <laughs> now, it, option A. No, ah, don't do it. Don't be ridiculous. To yes, it's true. And C. Um, it's kind of complicated. The term inherit is incorrect. Oh, that's a good way to begin. It's true then. I was born on the very day that Dracula was destroyed. So, in short, that means that I am Dracula. <laughs> I love this game's plot. It is, it is, it is great. That can't be right. You've been so kind and friendly to me that one time we met. <laughs> that is because I don't consider you a threat to my mission. <laughs> but that being said, you have made it this far. I sense a power within you. Do tell me, what kind of power has awoken within you? All we know is that it's dark power. And it can command monsters, that's it. The power to rule. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game's writing. It's. I, I, I'm ironic. I know it's, 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 I'm making it sound like I'm making fun of it, and I guess in some way I think it's, it's a bit silly, but I actually, no joke, I enjoy this kind of like writing. Because it, it comes out as so melodramatic, it's just fun. Yeah, this, this dude's crazy. What? He you foolish boy! I th and it has to meet her changes! <laughs> yep, yep. That's impossible! Huh? I can't remain here any longer! I must get to the throne! Your name is Soma, right? You're wrong, Soma! I will not allow you to rule! Jeez, what was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm saved. I've saved here. If I die, I can just... All right, don't get hit. If I can get to a warp room, that'd be nice. And get to the gate and uh. Oh, <laughs> fucking! St uh oh, those are spikes. Oops. What? <laughs> uh, that's save state. I don't want to do that. Fortunately, I can just. Oh, that's right, I gotta do this conversation again. Alright. Let's, let's save again. Th that's load state! Zorog just posted a rather disturbing image of Gruntilda cosplaying as Bayonetta. <laughs> uh, 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 like, uh, fat Gruntilda? Dead Gruntilda? Yeah, or, uh, yeah, or game over Gruntilda? Gruntilda? Yes, fat Gruntilda oh. cosplaying as Bayonetta. That- that sounds hilarious. Saggy tits and all. <laughs> that- that is someone's, uh... That is someone's fetish. I'm not gonna knock it, but... Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright. I'm going to get to a save room. So, uh... So... Uh, when, uh, when Sword and Shield was released, uh, uh, somebody, uh, managed to come across a picture of, uh, you know the, the meme, uh, the two, the two coma loss meme? Shit! Yeah. Uh, uh, in, in, uh, in lewd works. Um, well, somebody did that, but with, uh, with, uh, that, that, uh, old lady professor. Just like, let's see, are you a boy or a girl? And it's just... It's just her go. oh boy, 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 I'm like, and somebody made a comment on that picture where they're like, wait, so, so somebody looted the sweet old, like, professor lady? And he's like, well, any holes to go, I, I guess. And it's just like, <laughs> I guess it's better than, like, the opposite. Wow, that guy can take a hit! Holy <laughs> shit! <sighs> I should have grabbed more potions. Whoops. I... Hold on. Do I have anything I can... I've got two things of rotting meat. If I turn it... If I use zombie, will I be able to make use of it? 
there sh- I think there is there should be a soul that lets you eat stuff like Alright, well But I don't think you have it at the moment. Zombie becomes so. stronger when poisoned. Let's try it. I think it's a soul that specifically says you can eat in uh -oh. thing. Well, that didn't work. Guess I'm loading. But oh, whoops! Damn it! I thought I thought I could work the game. So there is a soul that allows you to eat. That's only purpose is to allow you to eat rotten meat. Yep. Good to know. I'm just gonna avoid that fight. You're not worth it. I am not. I refuse to fight you. Oh shit! <laughs> this is the Castlevania pacifist run. The Castlevania, I'm fucking hurt and I can't win a fight run. Oh, which is how hey, it should, it's Yoko. Which is how it should be, considering the circumstances. Because as as far as we know, this is just a foreign exchange student, and he was able to pocket knife experience. a wing skeleton to death in one hit. Like, and zombies are no joke. This guy, this guy was was a monster even before he entered the castle. It just happens. <laughs> That this is outside his current, like, realm of abilities. Hey, it's, uh, Yoko again. Hey, hello, Soma. Hey, Yoko. I just ran into Graham. Really? Which way did he go? He was in a rush to get to the throne. Just as I thought. There is something important in the throne room. I'm sorry, Yoko. What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? He's not who I thought he was. I thought he was nice! He was kind to me only because he thought I was powerless. I see. But his attitude changed suddenly when I told him about my power. Well, in his mind, he thinks everything in this castle is his. So that's the reason. But it's better this way. What is? The fact that he sees you as an enemy now means you're my comrade. <laughs> enemy of my enemy is my friend and all that. This is the most reasonable yeah. conversation yet. This is the one that's <laughs> like the most sane. Does it? What? You don't want to be on my side? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's so much fun to tease you. But this is not the time to be fooling around. Your presence here has thrown Graham into a panic. This is our chance. What sort of chance? Using his cunning mind, he's been able to evade us up until now. I don't think anyone has ever seen him panic before. I get it. Circumstances right now are making him act this way. That's exactly right. This is an excellent opportunity to trap him. Well, I must be on my way. Bye. <laughs> but yeah, uh, oh, that's yeah, the Graham wrong one. is just he, he just he thinks he's Dracula because he was just born on the same day that he died. So by happenstance, he thinks that my he game just success, crashed. So now he's just what? I was trying to save state and it just it just fucking died. All right, I'm gonna that, reload uh... it. I'm using, That's not good. I'm using MGBA. Usually, usually it's been pretty stable. It's just that that uh, when you when that happens, it's just kind of it's kind of it's uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's point it's a uh, version point oh five. So that probably is the reason. Well, that's fine. We can always skip that. Uh, all right, quick load. Oh no, I have uh, I have access to. Oh, I gotta reset OBS. Give me a second. <laughs> Every it's time it crashes, I gotta, I gotta redo the fucking. No. Seriously. This. Oh no! There it goes. Here's twenty thirty five. All right. Uh. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Oh no! It ate my save data! Oh. <laughs> right. Okay, fortunately See, though, I have, I have the one where I ate the rotten meat, so we're all good! <laughs> oh, so you have the one. Thing I have one hit point! Meat. Which is fine, because 26 wow. hit points was practically one hit point anyway. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be messing Damn. around. That was <laughs> close. We that was that was that was way too close. It would I wouldn't have lost that much. I've been good about uh, doing uh, doing in-game saves. So. Yeah. Well, the way you made it sound, it sounded like you lost all the save data. Cause you said you no. lost the save data. No, because save you state. In game save data. No, because save because save states uh, are, are their own separate thing. So. Yeah. All right. So I know. Uh, oh shit. So I know to the to the. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God, I I found it. Okay. Good. I think we gotta wrap this up soon. Yeah, we've been long for two hours and forty minutes. God damn. Oh, this has been fun. Made a hefty amount of progress so far. Surprise. Still got to do inverted castle as well, so this is probably gonna be a four-game stream. No, no, no! I don't four. think there's an inverted castle in this. It's gonna be a four, a four-stream game. I don't think this has inverted castle. All right. We go to the next save room, and then once that save room is uh, hit, it's probably gonna be after this next boss. Oh no no this doesn't okay no this doesn't have inverted castle it's uh you just talk to Graham and then you fight Julius at some point later on and then you get to face chaos or whatever yeah this is all right if you know what you're doing this could be short this might end up being maybe two streams three at worst if we don't you know get everything done yeah this the next uh, game is gonna be longer wait I thought I could slide I get oh no because this is a Alright, I get it now, because this is a platform if I can't do the drop slide. I'm too reckless, look, I lost half my HP already. Siren versus Harpy, what's the difference? Alright, right. Wait. What? Where the fuck does this go? Oh, okay, this is the throne room. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I guess this is the uh, proper entrance. All right. Yeah, you still there? Yeah. All right. Some of the cruise is kind of just like a rain of entities. Like I was just an ordinary high school student, but it turns out. I am Dracula. Yeah, his know. his design, it like it kind of makes sense. It's like a really artistic contrast compared to like Matthias because if you look at Matthias, he mostly wears all black and his hair is black. But here you look at Summer Cruz, he mostly wears white in his hair. I'm down to one hit again, because I don't know how to fucking... Alright, I'm gonna do this boss that I'm gonna save. Alrighty.
Almost got 50% of the castle done. Yep. Oh, it's death. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Let's die. This might, this might actually take me a few attempts. I remember death was kind of a pain last time I... It's funny because, uh, I, uh, some fans pointed this out and it just occurred to me, but yeah. in both this game and Dawn of Sorrow, death doesn't have any dialogue at all. Yeah. Which is very weird considering that, you know, some is the reincarnation of Dracula and, you know, death was like his right hand man. So you'd think that death would be like, ah, oh, I sense the soul in you as my master, what's the deal? But apparently, apparently, it was uh, later revealed in a novel. It was revealed in a novel, which is a sequel to Dawn of Sorrow, yeah. that death talked to Soma for a brief the... second and he said the reason why he's attacking him is because he's no longer his master anymore. So that makes sense why he's doing it. But I, I, I still find it weird that they don't have any dialogue whatsoever in these two games. That, that they don't talk at all. What the fuck? The game just froze. Oh, it just... Okay, I, I fixed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> having all kinds of... All kinds of problems. It's mostly the weird controller layout. And I died. Alright, let's try this again. See? I told you this would be the first one. I would, I'd like to think that, like, maybe... What? It wasn't saving. What? Uh-oh. What? What now? What happened? Wait. Start a new game. But I... Oh. Uh, but why wasn't it saving? I don't understand. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Oh, uh, what happened? I've got... I've got good news, though. I have... I have, uh... I have save states, so I will. <laughs> this I'm gonna have to make this 102. Uh... It even says J and D. It even says the thing. I don't know. Well, that's this a game that's is a glitch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'll, I'll fix it somehow. <coughs> oh, shit. So I can only do two hits, and and I'm trapped in fucking time. Oh god. I gotta perfect this. On death. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That that didn't happen. <laughs> this is. Don't this forget, is... he has a second form. Yeah, I know. Oh, whoops. That, 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 that. I don't... I was gonna do it hard way and then... Turns out I was getting lucky this entire time by not dying. Now I didn't know that apparently the save data is just all kinds of fucked up. Oh. Hold on, I'm a, I'm a, I have an idea. I, I know what I, I know what I must do. Wait, what? Oh, it was paused this entire time. Uh, hmm. So... So what the fuck is going on? Save states, uh, emulation... I have no idea what happened. Like, it's, it, it seems like it's been saving this entire time, but... What the fuck? Well, I have a bunch of save states. I have the the one hit point rotten meat save state. I have the boss save state. I'm going, I am going, to uh, I'm going to troubleshoot this and see what what I did wrong. I'll I will I will get back to this. I'll leave it on this uh this nice portrait as I say. I'll see you next time. Uh, I want to do this again sometime later this week, maybe on yeah. a Thursday or something. But maybe well, not a Thursday. I got I got stuff I need to do Thursday. Maybe Wednesday. Yeah. Right. Well, well. Thank you for joining me, Darian, and thank you for your insights on Castlevania. That was that was fun.
No problem. It was awesome to be on here. Yep, and I'll I'll save the curse of the save state from Soma, and uh, and I'll save Soma from his uh from his wretched permadeath fate. Yeah. Right, I'll see you next time. All right. See you next time.